Hasanabi corporate. I don't even know what that is. Yes. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Hi. Hi. What happened to your pants? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I just it, wow. it just it looked ripped. I need to I need to fix the third mic, and I don't know how to do that because uh, Jenna just said that uh, you were coming last second. So I don't know how to like I don't know how to do the software side of that, unfortunately. Um, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, we have denims and gentlemen Maori in the building. I am going to uh, I am going to make them eat Turkish food, and then we're going to tier list it. No, March is of course. Uh, I asked March. I need his help. And literally said, "Sure, of course, I'll do it." And then he never showed up. So I'm kind of cooked. Anyway, regardless. Kaya does not get to eat uh, the Turkish food. Anyway, you guys sit here and talk uh, to them while I take Kaya out and, and do some work. Sure. Hi, chat. What? Actually pregnant? No. Yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah, I brought my wife. <laughs> Hi, chat. How are you? It's good seeing you again for our annual yearly stream. It's like you don't even love them. You only show up once a year. I feel like we hang out enough on Twitter, though. I've been making friends. Uh, you guys know Vulcan Parrot, right? Oh, yeah. He's been, he's been teaching me about Warhammer 40K. So oh, that's been too far from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. Talk to, talk to it. I don't know which. There's so many. Why does he have so many? Is the noise gate really bad? Chat? Denim's mic is muted. Yeah, the third microphone is currently muted. But even if I unmute it, it's just like it's not... It's not doing anything. Also, don't pull on it too much because it'll it'll break for sure. It'll drop. It's only on your mic. Yeah, you need to get close up with the mic, close up and personal. Yeah, there's hair everywhere. She's <laughs> that's the reason why she's shedding a lot is because it's just static on the third mic. It's pretty good though. Yeah, I'm just gonna crank the gain on this so that hopefully One, that'll be two, better three, and they can hear they can be heard. Speak into okay. the microphone. Speak into the microphone, Jenna. Hi, chat. Okay, and well no, no, that works perfectly. Okay. All right. Oh, we're in business. Too much? Oh, it's too much, really? There's an echo when I speak. The noise in the background is Kaya throwing her <laughs> bone around. Okay. All right. Um, welcome. Welcome. Uh, we fixed it. We did it. Did it's working. It? I think. I mean, to a certain degree. There's going to be some limitations, but... Uh, regardless, um, welcome Denims, welcome Gentleman Maori. Uh, we are, who's playing pool in the background is Kaya's <laughs> toy. I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take that toy away from her. It's very, very loud. Given the circumstances, the best we got, I wanted to show you ladies, uh, Turkish cuisine. And for that purpose, I'm going to be ordering from this restaurant that I'm not going to disclose what it is, but I'm going to make you guys taste uh, I am going to make you guys taste a bunch of different Turkish food. We're going to order it first. It's going to take a while to get here. So in that time frame, we are going to look at uh, we're going to look at TikToks and shit like that uh, okay. that this community has. I gotta take this fucking toy away. I'm gonna... <laughs> Kaya, come here. Come here. Get in here. I just don't understand why he hates Kaya so much. I don't either. I hate women so much. I'm just uh, doing this to my female I, dog. I bet you call her a b too. I do call her a b <laughs> all wow. the time. Wow, wow, dude, wow. Oh, my God. First and foremost, okay? Baby. First and foremost, here's what we're, here's what we're going to get. We're going to get cigarette bure, okay? That's a staple. It's, uh, in English, it's like deep fried rolls or a cigarette burek. They're deep fried rolls with cheese filling. I'm going to get you guys pasta de matos which is uh, breakfast food. Simit, achma, poacha, which are uh, tradition in, traditional Mediterranean bagel and soft bagels. It's kind of like oh. a bagel, but it's like a, it's like a salty pastry. I am going to get you guys a sujuk omelette and a cheese burek. And then on the traditional soup side, we're going to get a lentil soup. I love lentils. Actually, we'll get a half a lentil soup because it's too much. Then... We will, of wow. course, get a hummus. Wow. Wow. We're actually four-piece uh, sarma. <laughs> sarma, four pieces, mamada hummus, shakshuka, tzatziki, Turkish spicy esme. It's a special Levant meze plate. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
Um, that that's going to feature all of the uh, different uh, types of appetizers. Appetizers being uh, dolma, also known as sarma. They're grape leaves stuffed with rice, onion, parsley, cooked in oil, pine nuts, and I lemon juice. Those those uh, Muamara, which is red pepper paste, olive oil, salt, garlic, breadcrumbs, coriander seeds, and uh, black pepper, basil, Aleppo pepper, and ground walnuts. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be tasting esme salad, which is a type of salad, but it's not really like a salad. That is, of course, uh, onions, tomatoes, parsley, green pepper, tomato paste, special med- Mediterranean spices, and pomegranate syrup. Pomegranate syrup is a big part of Turkish cuisine. These are just the appetizers. Um, and then after that, we're going to have uh, ichli köfte, which is bulgur, ground beef, onion, semolina pepper, and walnut and spices. Oh, hummus with pasturma exists as well. We'll get that instead. Okay. And we'll take out the hummus. No, oh, she's such a baby. She's so nice. Okay, there's no magic makeup to set this place, chat. Okay, we're skipping the salads. We are going to get the special mixed kebab, uh, which features one skewer of beef, uh, lule, four pieces of beef shish, four pieces of chicken shish, two pieces of lamb chop served with roasted tomato pepper, red sauerkraut, onion, and lavash served with bulgur or rice. I'm going to get it with bulgur so you guys taste that. And then we also have beiti, which is uh, a type. It's a different kind of kebab as well. And uh, last but not least, of course, lahmacun. Uh, that is a huge staple as well. I'm going to show you all of these things. Don't worry. And we have lamb chops, which are goaded. I love lamb. Uh, and that's with mashed potatoes on the side. And also, of course, köfte. Köfte is the meatballs. That's uh, ground beef with onion, garlic, Mediterranean spices, cheddar, and uh, also all this other stuff on the side. And uh, to finish off, we have three different types of dessert. We have marash ice cream. We have rice pudding and kazandibi. Of course, normally, we would also you're, you're also going to get a, a Turkish drink as well. Uh, Ayran. And we'll have lavash and we'll have service bread on the side as well. That's basically everything this restaurant offers, okay? I'm excited. It sounds good. Okay, good. I'm so hungry. Um, do you have a Jilishal gum? No, I don't. Not at this restaurant, at least. Okay. It's going to take a while for it. No manta either and no baklava. Uh, pilav is, uh, is coming on the side. So, and no, no chikofta. Chatters... I live in Los Angeles. Uh, some of the foods that you're describing, unfortunately, either don't exist at this restaurant or, um, I mean, I can get a baklava from a different place for them to try it, actually. Have you guys ever had baklava? Of mm-hmm. course. I'm Arab. Of course I've had baklava. Yeah. I've made it from scratch, too. What would what, you make me last time I was in town? What kind of Arab Cause, were you? Cause, yeah, yeah. It was really Dennis, joy. Dennis, what kind of Arab are you? Uh, Egyptian Moroccan. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, you've had a lot of this food, of Oh, course. yeah. You listed them off. I was like, Kufta. Oh, shit. Yeah, Send him back. <laughs> oh. um, Jenna, on the other hand, is... Uh, white. Uh, you swagged say out. It. She's a swagged out, quirked up white girl. What do you mean I'm white? Through and through. You are so... You are the whitest person I know, I think. <laughs> like, literally, both both in paleness, but also just in general. But um, I, brought, I brought my POC friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm cool. I'm cool, guys. Let me see if I can find the... Can't argue with that. <laughs> there is another... Fuck, what is the place that I get the baklava from? I gotta go through my... Exotic white girl. White I gotta go through my white orders. Red. Okay. How does it feel to be a minority? You know, it's really hard out here in LA, these streets. I have to take Uber Blacks everywhere. Wow. Not, there's no Uber White. You ever think about that? <laughs> You ever think about that? That's fucked up. I am now. I am now. There, mm-hmm. there is no, there is no Iskandar. Okay. The, the things that I did not mention as far as like Turkish food, like donar and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can get like one. We can get like. You're so funny. <laughs> You're so quirked up. Um, Kurufa Sule doesn't exist uh, here as well. Okay. Listen, we, I got a shit ton of stuff. Okay. Obviously it's not going to feature all of the things. Uh, unfortunately, 
is not going to have all the things that we want because it's just, you know, they just don't have it. It's not available. Okay. So everybody calm down. I'm doing my very best here. Um, and I think this might be like a decent baklava place. I don't really know if it's good or not, but yeah, we'll get a mixture of baklava as well from this place. Okay. And then hold on. That should be good. Hopefully it's good. That'll take some time to get here as well. Kunefe is not on the menu. That sucks. Yeah. Before we do that, though, or rather, uh, while we wait for that, because it's going to take a fucking while, I was watching some uh, home, you know, we were looking at architecture videos, which we can all look at together if you would like. And then we will, total price of the order was around $400. Can I help pay for some of that? No, it's fine. Okay. Well, with, uh, uh, with the tip included, because I, I slapped on a fat one there. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you introduce them? I did. Okay. Do you guys know who Jacob Elordi is? No. This is like the new heartthrob. Uh, he was on... Was he on Euphoria chat? I think it was on Euphoria originally. Oh, I've seen TikToks of this guy. Is this the guy who was dating... I don't remember her name. <laughs> I don't remember the actress. He's hot. Name. He's, just, he's tall. He's... I think he's Australian. Salt he's friend. hot. He was in Saltburn. He's skinny and tall and hot. Have you watched that one yet or no? Have I watched Saltburn? Yes. I haven't watched it yet. It's it's all is right. That, is that okay? It's it's mm. okay. He dated Zendaya. Well, in the in the show, right? In Euphoria. <sighs> um anyway. This is his home. It's from uh when Fezco beat me up. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Actor Jacob Bellotti plummets in to real his life. Death. Oh, he dated he dated Zendaya in real life. That's crazy. It's Fuck like, this guy. Like, Hollywood son. Chicken <laughs> I was getting Jeepers Creepers vibes. <laughs> kind of speaks for itself, you know what I mean? It's it's pretty surreal. I remember when I was small, this the first memory I have of coming to Hollywood. I was like eight years old, and I have this impossible memory because it wouldn't work from where I was standing. But I was where the sort of the stars on the boulevard are, and there was this postcard of James Dean. And I remember saying to my mom, I was like, who is this guy? Like his head is everywhere. In my memory, it's burned in as like this slow motion turn around. And there was just this giant white sign. So it's impossible from where I was on the strip. But for some reason, that's like what stuck with me. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's quite magical. You should reach out to him for a collab. Listen, pal. Listen, how. What would we collab about? Houses. Oh, yeah. He owns a house. I own a house. That's all I talk about for the most part, actually. Just like ownership of houses. Did you guys know he's British? Is he I British? Didn't... I thought he was uh, Australian. Oh. Is he Australian? I thought he was American. He She's only a natural actress. Too. She doesn't perform for the camera. Listen. I feel like it's wild to just like tuck your t-shirt in when you're casually at home. Am I crazy? Have you seen this like a... Uh... He's wearing like... Like formal pants, no belt, tucked in t-shirt. You know those like Vogue interviews where they like go to celebrities' homes and they like ask them questions and they're like, I was actually just, it's crazy you're here right now. I just finished picking lemons from my lemon garden. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, no, they, I, I like to believe that they are just picking. Wait, what? You, you don't believe them when they say that? Oh, no. I, I like <laughs> to believe that they're just picking lemons in their lemon garden. They're having uh, a lemon party. Yeah. Don't look that up. Gotta be better. There's a Hollywood girl. She is. I've lived in LA. I think it must be dog. close to four years now. I used to live in, in like a. He's like also casually putting his foot in his pool. Is this free? In the Just back the of the valley. I like that the water's down, distorting it though, so it looks like a club foot. Looks like a little stuff. <laughs> He just didn't want to give it to you for free, and you're over. You should understand that better than anybody else, okay? Should I? Yeah. Why is that? Because the the photo of what you choking me with your legs, like you literally censored your foot. I didn't censor it. You yes, you did. You said, you said, Jenna, I no one else can see those dogs. I don't want no. anyone I have to see to them without paying. Yeah, pain. put those dogs away. I said. She has the dogs away. Denim's on the other hand, just <laughs> just being extra slutty with the feet. She <laughs> she's, just came she's in. Beautiful I exotic. didn't know. I didn't know they were gonna be wearing socks. So yeah. now I got my dogs out. I she's she's literally raw dog in the ground right now, straight up. Damn. She's out. Hollywood. They're barking. Real here. hungry. And I'd see these houses and I'd be like, 
<laughs> this is how you know this person is literally a pervert. Okay, immediately goes painted <laughs> toenails. Like he's like, are they white? Like French no, chips. no, it's always no, those two colors. no normal guy who's not a foot fetishist immediately goes painted toenails. Tell me the details. <laughs> You, you, you know when they're a real freak if oh. they ask if they're white or if they're French, like a French manicure. Those are the two. Main People ones. get like their feet painted like that. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you guys, I, I forgot that that's a thing that people do. Um, you're, I was, for a second I was thinking like you only get what, your what, hands. Why did you say you people? Like that? <laughs> I just don't get like why. Women. <laughs> I was wow. being racist against wow. women or just people that get their shit done like that. Keep this shit done like that. Yeah, it's just you can't. What do you mean, you people? Me when you're the whitest person here, okay? Why are the you singling fuck? her out? Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's fucked up that you would do that to your guests, man. I forgot that people painted their toes and shit. It's okay. okay. It's okay. You all need this right now. If you don't watch this message, you will never have the chance to see me again. He's so hot. Why is Jesus so hot? What's up with that? This why, is like why they go sicko mode on the titties. Do you do you think oh, dude he's breasting so <laughs> boobily? Like a little peak of red oh. is doing it for me. You I'm know, half chubbed right now. Me Let me too. be honest. <laughs> you know the person who put this in the fucking mid journey was like sexy ass Jesus with like sick pectorals. Like <sighs> they wrote that in specifically. You mean the many AI have artists. passed. Yeah, the AI artist. <laughs> The real artists, okay? <laughs> Not like the fucking fake ones who, uh, lame, learn how to draw and shit. Get out of here. Jesus is about to make me act up. That's all I gotta say. But you <laughs> stayed, and God is very happy with you. I want to have a moment with you. Can you grant me an instant? I want to grant you a great miracle, but I need you to listen to what I have to say. That's like a 17 second intro for like what advice he's gonna give. What the fuck is this? Are you at home? I'm sorry to interrupt you at this time of day. This is like this My name is Jesus time. Christ, your savior. Why does it seem that you don't care about me? I have been protecting you constantly ever since you were born. I have blessed you and saved you from so many so adversities that could have marked your life. In the background. I have never abandoned you and I never will. Now can you do me a favor? Share this message with as many people as you can, please. <laughs> That's it? Where's the message? This Jesus dog. The fucking call to action. <coughs> I feel Jesus. I'm ready to convert. To I'm, I'm right ready now. to convert. Bro, he literally complained Jesus. about us forgetting about him. That's it. And and then I demanded that we share it. John three sixteen. You from so For many God adversities that could have marked your life. His only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but this have is, everlasting life. This we, is why I said you're the whitest one. This is crazy. <laughs> I went to a private. Southern Baptist Christian school. It didn't take. We get it. You're oppressed. It, it didn't take. This is you are the perfect demonstration of what happens at like when you when you send your child you to one of those things. Okay. Um, wait. There's more. Our sex ed classes were actually crazy. I remember. Ignore. You know what deacons are in in like the church like structure, like deacons. No. Okay. Well, whatever. So it was like a flex if you were like married to a deacon in like small town churches. So like the moms, uh, like the wives, like the deacons, uh, they were the elders. <laughs> so uh, the moms would give the sex ed talks. And I remember because uh, they'd always split up the girls and the boys. So it'd be completely separated. And I remember uh, one of the moms who, who also taught the coach, the volleyball team. She was like, now you can use tampons or you can use pads, <laughs> but you don't want to use too many tampons because if you use too many tampons, you'll lose your virginity. What? Yeah. Yeah. So I was terrified. I kid you not. I was terrified of tampons for like the longest time. Like I, I really was. I was so, I was what, so like, terrified. Oh, pads? Like she was just like saying use a pad. Like not that there's anything wrong with pads. She was like, she was like free bleed. Flow, like, yeah, free bleed. Yeah, she was like, she was an advocate for free bleeding. Wait. Oh, damn. Yeah. The, what does she think about the diva cup then? She was like, big no, no. No plastic <laughs> goes down there. <laughs> Diva cups kind of scare me. They are very like, scary. Like, have you seen those squatting videos of people at like the gym who have like diva cups in and they like fall out because you know you have to squeeze when you know you do like. They fall out. I feel like they can. They can. Jenna, I feel like that's fetish content. Like that, I don't think anything's that's, a fetish. Are I don't think. Me? I don't think what you're describing is something that is just like casually on my for you page. Well, we have very different for you pages then. 
What the fuck? So people's diva cups just like fall out while they're squatting? They, I mean, they can if you like squeeze enough. Or I, I only had like a plunger experience. They launch out? What the f- They launch out. Are you putting out. old plungers? <laughs> Little plunger? What do you mean a it plunger? Was like, it experience? was like I couldn't get Damn, it Damn, denims. It was, it was, it was plungered she's, in there. She's saying she's got the, the gorilla grip. Yeah. Chat. That's what she's saying. I she's mean, like, it's kind of given. She's like, oh, yeah. I can't Like you use can't it. have full hair like that and not have like she's bomb like, fucking pussy. I'm sorry. It doesn't work. shit is fab, bro. It's like, just, what it's can I say? Oh. Facts, bro. I want to be like you when I grow up. Maybe if you try really hard. Uh, okay, minute. let's move on. <laughs> All right. Um, how do we get here? I don't know. Jesus is how we got here. Okay. They had this lady come to my private Southern Christian school. I want you to understand that I didn't come today to decide for you what you're going to do about sex. And I can't choose for you. No matter how much we would wish that we could put you in a box, lock it, feed you through a window till you're 24, we can't. God created sex. It's awesome. God it's wants awesome. you to have great sex. God created sex. It was his idea, not yours. When sex happens within boundaries, it's awesome. What is the boundary or the context for which God created sex? <laughs> Most of you don't believe that. So many church kids I've had in my office for years look at me and say, but we loved each other. So God did not create sex for love. God created sex for one context and one only marriage, not love. Even the stupidest. No, that, that is a thing though. Like, like that's what they, in, in some like very uh, conservative churches, mm -hmm. they will tell the women in the churches that you shouldn't enjoy it. It's immoral to enjoy sex. That's, yeah, I mean, isn't that like female genital mutilation too? That's like the basis for it. That's why they do it. So you just don't like, so you can't have like clitoral stimulation. Kind of. I mean, no, that's literally. It depends on what type of genital it's mutilation you're like, talking about. It's just about like uh, sex not being enjoyable for the woman. Which, by the way, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, misogyny takes care of that. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Ah, Am I right or what? Am I right? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I have sound effects. I have sound effects. Please. Look at this guy. That's right. You guys can't hear it, but everyone is, everyone is currently hearing. Yeah. That's so cool. Next time you make a joke, I got, I got another one. Do you have, like cricket noises too, for when you make not funny jokes? Um, wait, say that again. Not funny jokes. Yeah, that was for you. I oh. hit you with the crickets. You can't hear it, but they the crickets came for you. Oh, they came for me. I'm yeah, so flattered. they wow. did. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like a cricket for real. Okay, let's continue. Those of you in here can get this. You are not married. And what are most teens who are having sex afraid of? I got a news flash for you. Pregnancy is not a disease. Pregnant teenage girls in this country today are carrying, on average, 2.3 sexually transmitted diseases. I will have a girl write me, email me, or come <laughs> Wait, right up. 2.3. <laughs> <laughs> where, yeah, where's the where the demographic for like the point three come from? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, um, well, we don't really like, know about this third one. It's just like uh, half a disease, you know what I mean? It's just some, not some, some, like spots crap. we don't yeah. like. Wait, why did she say <laughs> We're not sure if it's like a keloid or? Wait, what does that mean? I don't understand what the point three would be. Even it's like half of a chlamydia. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it's like it's half just, of a crab. It's just the media, <laughs> or just the dia. <laughs> yeah, you like that? I Is have that the funny? V of HIV. Yeah, I, like what? <laughs> <laughs> it, this is, it makes no Get sense. It okay. Get You're embarrassing. Say this. Well, my mom found out I was having sex, and so she put me on the pill. That drug has just made her ten times more likely to contract the disease than if she were not taking that drug. This girl's gonna end up sterile or dead. Thanks, mom. Glad you cared. Well, every Thanks, child should be wanted and planned. Well, I wouldn't have an abortion. That's that's terrible. But but if it were rape, well then I don't believe that. In the next 24 hours, 12. Thousand teens will contract a sexually transmitted disease. Twelve thousand teens who got up this morning and said, "Like some of you sitting in this room, it's not going to happen to me." And that I happens see, in like Los Angeles, like this, and San Diego, and San Francisco, kind of and Sacramento, and scary schools like St. Paul. But we're okay here at Alameda. Oh, like oh yeah, the other you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Pull out that yeah. diamond, look her in the eyes. If you're really cool, young man, you'll get on your knees. And you say, "Marry me." By the way, I've got genital warts. A bunch of people tell me I needed to watch ABC. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> is it? Me too, girl. Me too. <laughs> isn't she just Rep like? Rep for Zap, bitch. Isn't she owning? So isn't she owning herself? I kind of feel seen right now. Oh, wait, can I say that she kind of looks like Monica Lewinsky, like evil Monica Lewinsky? Or is that just me? Uh, I see it. Not, I see it. Not really. I think she just looks like a regular butch lesbian lady, but like. You think it, she's in the closet, maybe? Yeah. I love that picture. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love your community. Yeah, they're very good. They're very talented. <laughs> but they can also collectively get together and be awful. Here, I blasted off for the for uh, announcing uh, denims. There you go. <laughs> and and uh, Jenna Lynn Miauri in the building. And I'm making them taste and tier list every type of Turkish food that exists. Hassan said, you're coming to my house and you're going to fill your mouth full of Turkish meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Because ABC was going to do a little special about sex, and we all know what a fountain of truth the media is. Chlamydia, chlamydia, Cindy Crawford. <laughs> you actually believe that if you get up the next morning and herpes isn't tattooed to your forehead, you don't have a disease. Oh, purple nose, herpes, stay away from that. He produces sperm. I feel like she doesn't know what STDs are like from the way that she's describing it. No, but bro, I don't she know. has herpes. She, she said, just told she us. She said it with she, her no, chest. No, she has genital warts. Yeah. <laughs> she, said, <laughs> she said that with her chest. Yeah. She's like, you guys Big are deal. right now? What's wrong with you? Funny? Some kind of feminazi or something? Problem is, where do y'all get your idea about what love is? In television and movies, 90210, Dawson's Creek, Felicity, the Titanic. My daughter begged me to take her to that flick. I made the mistake and did. Had to debrief her for two hours. One of the most abusive relationships I've seen on a screen. A young girl about ready to jump off the back her, like, of the... You know what I will say? Controversial opinion. She has, like, good stage presence. I feel She's like amazing I'm at, I feel like, yeah. I'm at like, a, like one of those comedy specials, like a stand-up yeah. comedy special. Yeah. She's, like, the coolest version of this you can get i think there's no way like like there's no way you can be this person and have these kinds of opinions around the world like about the world and and sex in general while also simultaneously you know have any kind of stage presence or charisma whatsoever so i i respect it if nanit was conservative I guess. Well, Nana, Nana is conservative, kind but of. Both. Very nice looking young man. Very cute. Said all the right words within 48 hours of sleeping with her, and we called it love. All I can say is it's a good thing that boy died. And there's herpes. I have genital herpes. Oh my God, lady. <laughs> Why? Okay. She, uh, where she just where has is she it. picking these up? Like, She's just, she basically is, is admitting it. Um. Okay. The ten funniest. <laughs> listen, listen. Ninety-nine percent will skip and ninety-nine percent will ignore. They no, said. No, no, not and ignore. Did. Me now, and the devil will laugh at me and approach you. On this morning, may the rays of my grace shine upon you. And at least this Jesus isn't like super white. You know what I mean? This is like kind of brown Jesus, so it's like real. What's wrong with being super white? Well, because like wow. Jesus is from the wow. area that where you're not really this, that area is not really known for white people being there. You know what I mean? Not a lot of white. Yeah, they made him. This is Mexican Jesus. Wrap you in a divine embrace. Allow me in this sacred moment to flood your heart with love and hope. Share this sacred message for someone needs to be touched by my light. May these words overflowing with affection. What is the music playing in the background? It's like freaking me out. There has to be like Jesus boyfriend ASMRs on YouTube. Oh, I need, I need right. you to look it up. This is I a, really need this you is to a, look it up. Someone in the chat said this is Jesus J O I. <laughs> yeah. Action and compassion. Yeah. Not a jerk off instructional, okay? It's a it's a Jesus. <laughs> Jesus over. Instructional. You, feel, you feel so full of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Let it enter you. <laughs> Find a way to that heart. You know my joke, bitch. I read your joke. I said someone in the chat said. I didn't say oh, I came God. up with it. For good news. Thus you will be the messenger of my word, bringing relief and smiles to the world. Trust in me, for I am the lighthouse that illuminates your path. The safe refuge in times of storm. In my infinite compassion, I grant you the strength necessary to overcome any adversity that life presents you with. And now, my beloved, I make a special request to you. Share this prayer with someone special. I hate the, the overlapping chain, music. I, think it, I the love music. those like chain messages where it's like, send this to a hundred other people and you'll <laughs> die in like a week. Yeah, and you I don't won't know. go to heaven. I'll make you. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get genital work. <laughs> The, the music was triggering, don't end up like me. The music was triggering my 
uh, fight or flight over here. I don't know why it was like that. It's like there was an audio already on it, and then it, I shouldn't be dating. I shouldn't be dating. A oh, we should do a. Uh, we should look at misogyny TikToks together. Do you guys want to do that? Have you seen? Wait, wait, wait. Have you seen like the sexy cooking TikToks? Yeah, I fuck <laughs> like dude, so like, much. His fingering is like free. It's so gnarly. And they're like, you like those? You know, I I was. Thinking, I, feel like I was talking with my assistants and whatnot, and we're like, we need to capitalize on our new Twitch meta, you know? And like, what was what was like the most recent one where it was like the topless the type bar shit? And the sensor bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like that. And I was like, I think it's like fruit camps. Like, I'm just going to start doing fruit camps. I, start fingering the fuck out of like, dude, I said it before, but like the... I mean, the what? The men who get on TikTok and like sexually fuck fruit with their fingers, that's the equivalent of doing have you a sensor bar. Meta. Have you seen the one where the dude like makes a like bread and he like finishes pressing like, his slaps bread? It? He like slaps yeah. the shit out of it. So then he like but then he like like kisses I, I on it seen... and like lightly suckles on it a little bit, like it's a breast. And he's just like I, I I've seen all of them. I feel like it's not it, it's not hot at all. Like is it hot? Do you find it hot? Be honest. It's definitely hitting the demographic it needs to hit. Like I feel like it's <laughs> so. I mean, it's so working. Do, it's working for someone, you so know. So it does work for you. Okay, this get to no. This is very good to know because, like, I try to pull my chat, and there's like you know, fourteen, fifteen percent women in my in my community. It's not super high, but they yeah, were. Yeah, that, that's put well. It's porn for wine moms. Oh yeah. Between heaven and dream on TikTok, it's okay. like specifically moms whose like husbands never cook a meal with them. You know. I feel like it's like the women who go to Thunder Down Under. That's the oh. content is made for that. <laughs> oh, this guy's gross. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh salmonella. Oh. That's salmonella. Oh. You got salmonella, oh. dog. No, no, why no, did, no. Why do you, you spell have chicken to think wrong. about it? You have such an untapped market here. You could, you could be doing this. I would. We have to. We have you to would kill it, bro. Bro, you fucking. Actually, you know what? He's, you know, I just, I just want he looks my 10% so fucking for grimy. <laughs> He looks so fucking grimy. He gave the chicken salmonella, okay? That's. It's for straight women who haven't come in 15 years. I feel like. So. Here, let me let, let's broach into this a little bit, okay? I feel like there's a very mechanical aspect to to making uh, a man. I like the way you okay? say cummed. Like <laughs> for me, it's like I, I, I'm very easy to please. I, I'm like visual stimulation is enough, right? But I feel like making a woman come is like a more holistic experience. Like it's just more. It's not just as mechanical. I feel like. It's more complicated. Is it, Am I wrong about this? Have you read the book, uh, Come As You Are? I think by no. Emily Nagowski. But it talks a lot about, I mean, not to deep dive it, but it talks about like the no, mental. You deep dive it. Like the, like, I'm trying to think. Like, wait, I'm, let's put it on the spot. <laughs> okay, my it's point gone. is, it, look, look, my point was like, it's, it's um, like men are a little bit more simple in uh in in getting horny than i feel like women where there's like a lot more like environmental factors at play it's like a more it's a it's a more like i said I feel holistic like, I feel like experience women, i don't think have like a really an issue getting horny but it's just like there are so many surrounding factors and i think to finishing well, like i'm not even talking about like being horny i'm talking about like finishing well in sure but it's like you need a lot of mental stimulation as long as like the physical stimulation and if you're not like in a good headspace and you also aren't taking time to incorporate the whole body into the process it's like it's jarring so if like if work stressing them out like works on my mind you know what i mean so you yeah you have to that's what I, yeah. that, that's kind of what I was talking about where I'm like, I feel like there's a, there's a mental component to it. That's why like, uh, uh, I guess like this isn't, this is a generalization, so it's not always going to fit the bill, but like, like, I feel like there's a higher likelihood of, of, uh, I feel like women flicking the bean to, I don't know, like smut or, or like, uh, those like twilight style books or 50 shades of gray or some shit like normie women versus like. No man is like cranking it. Most men are not cranking it to like a book. It's more visual. It's just like I mean, well, one, it's very not cut with that and dry. Attitude. It's very cut and dry. <laughs> That's what I. 
Yeah, literotica <laughs> is uh, is the term, right? So, um, have you ever like? Um, did you ever were into like Wattpad fanfics? No, I've never. Huh? I'm, I'm not with my peoples. No, I, I, I but no, you, you like, are. are you Chad like a, is like do you that. Like, a, like Chad monster fucking, up. like monster fucker. No. Oh shit! Now, now we're in. Now we're uh, in. Yeah. No. Uh, see, that'll do it for me. Well, anyway, it's <laughs> someone said it's literature. But <laughs> what I was, what I, I was trying that. to say is like, I feel like this is like very. This is what I imagine like. Like the. Like a woman doing this would be like kind of hot for a man, whereas like I feel like a man doing this for women it doesn't fit the bill. If that makes sense, it's like a it's like what a straight guy uh, thinks women are into. I don't know. It's just like if you're gonna be fucking handling raw meat, like at least do like a nice steak or something, not like a raw little yeah. pasty chicken. Like that's how I feel after I shake. Like I don't like I don't. Mm. I don't know. No, I agree. It's like it's. Mm. I agree. Like my clit's going inwards. Like, <laughs> Oh, it's also bad. It's like not. It's, oh, yeah. that chicken oh. looks so dry. They didn't oh. even like let the skin oh. render. Oh, There's so much my. uncooked. Oh my god. I got you, fam. This is the one they talking about. <laughs> Why is he f the whatever that thing? Is it a bread maker? Uh, uh, run it back. Run it back. Let's see. Put it. Put it in a point two five. Wait. For Okay, okay, be, be, be for real, be for real, be, be I'm serious. Being, I'm being for real. You, you think it's like, you think this is hot. I've called this guy Butterface before. Oh, He's a bit of a Butterface. Oh my god, condensed milk. Oh god, it's so good. Fuck, I love condensed milk so much. Have you ever had condensed milk? I've had my condensed milk. Okay, it's the best. <laughs> that That's edge gross. shot. I don't know, I don't know. He doesn't have like enough body hair. I feel like his jaw is like too. I don't know. There's some up with his face. It's like too angular. He looks or like something. kind of like Chip Monkey. Like he's got a lot of like random nuts in his mouth. Yeah, he's like what, stuffed. What, he uh, stuffed some mom, nuts on the side. What's the of his TikTok mouth. term? Mewing. Mewing. Oh, he. Needs, yeah, he, he looks needs maxing. To? He's looks maxing. He needs to stop mewing. I think he's yeah. mewed too hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also think, um, you know, did you ever have a uh, people that you went to school with that would have those bite? Those bite chew thingies, you know what I'm talking about? To, specifically to grow their jaw. It was like a thing guys did. Is it I'm like the chew trick? 32 years old, so no. This kind of shit when I was in college was like almost you know, exclusive. What is, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It was no, it's a it's a jawser size. Uh, it's like a Kong toy for for men. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's supposed to like help. Yeah. This jaw. is new tech, is what I'm saying. When I was in school, this did not exist. Wait, how old? Are you? That's yes. rude, man. Never ask what. Well, yes, I don't know, like twenty five. Okay, close. I'm twenty six. Okay, there you go. Nailed I'll it. I'll but even then, it's like that. You had that when you weren't going to school. Oh, I I use mine every day. She was drawing, baby. That's why your drawing's so sexy, girl. Oh. I'm you for a minimum of four hours a day. It shows. It paid off. Oh, I was I was pumping this morning. You know. Oh. Yeah. Ask That's why I look sharp. the news is Riz. Wait, you kind of look familiar. Have you been on like? Oh, CV I've seen or this before. Like this is great. No, wait. Weren't you on the news? No. Breaking news: A robbery is in progress involving this fine individual shown right here. This would get me. <laughs> Sources say that. Just as in, the police have found the location of the culprit and have cameras on him as we speak. Here's Julian on the scene. Julian? 
Thank you, Julian. As you can see, we have an outside view of his house. The suspect. FBI, open up! <laughs> what did I even steal? They're hard. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good on so many levels. Oh, I'd absolutely put up for this guy. Are you kidding me? He, He's a genius. That is so much work, but respect. This is a thing that I've seen. This is like a, a meme now. Like this is like a meta now. It could be like a solid three, but if you're funny as fuck, 15. This Minimum. Is, he, he, just, he just did this on like Omegle or whatever the fucking app well, is. Well, it's, it's even better because it's not like amazing quality. Oh yeah, you know it's, it's, got it's, it's better. It's better that it is like low quality. I'd click out before half of that was over, and you would have missed the fucking journey, the journey of your life. I would say. I feel like the cherry on top was him spelling there wrong. So it was just like. Oh. I liked when he was on the police hood, and he was just like, uh, that, 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 that was a trend." On yeah, TikTok that was a TikTok a while, trend. Yeah, he like, incorporated the dudes it. That would go get arrested, and it's always like they'd have the same like side shapes. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like oh. I'm a bad boy. He makes this for uh, women, but only twink bottoms find this hot. Well, apparently I you find it hot. I want to slide in this guy's DMs. You you find this hot? There you go. You no, no, no. I just want to see if I could get him to like make me one of these videos. A handmade video. You're for like you. you're like can trying I, to get an OnlyFans. Can I get like a, <laughs> you're trying to get an OnlyFans style like situation for him? Cameo commission. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? I used to do that kind of like back in the day, not like cameo, but I used to. You know what X Hamster is? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a porn site? Yeah, but I'd go to like the cams and I'd go to the GILF cams and then I'd find like GILF? I'd find grandmas on there, you know, that maybe had like one to three viewers and I'd go in and just give them like a bunch of money and we'd take showers together. I'd have them make me like fan signs and stuff and I'd be like, oh, sing me a song, you know? We There was one lady who like peed with me while she was like holding her laptop and it was just really, it was, I was on a power trip or something. Just... Getting them to, I would have to explain what a fan sign is. I'd be like, What's, write my name on a piece of paper and then hold it up. That's insane. And I'd make, I'd make a bunch of different ex hamster accounts with, uh, under, uh, my different moderator handles, like my mod, my mod friends. So it'd be like, Hey, I, I got you a fan sign. There's something, <laughs> dude, Christian Happy birthday. Baptist school fucked you up, dude. Like. I feel like you were holding I them hostage. I was supporting sex workers. What do you mean? It's fair. It's just like still insane at the same time. All right. Let's look at some misogynistic TikToks to bring us back to, to the real world for a second. I'm okay. Gonna, when I get back home, I'm going to send you. I have like a whole folder I'm of good. like my, I don't <laughs> of my fan signs. They're like trophies. I don't need my to Oh my God. Don't call them trophies. <laughs> Should I not say that? I've worked hard for those. It would be a really good bit to do the sexy kitchen thing, but you're making like dino nuggets and tortillas with cheese melted in them and it's on paper plates, etc. That is a good bit. But you have to still look hot while doing it. And you're like still fucking the dino nuggies. Oh, that'd be so easy. Because you could do it like, especially like if Austin came over or something. Yeah, I couldn't do it. But Austin could. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say? No, you could both do it. And no, <laughs> see, you have to take up. it. If someone's already doing it at this level, okay, you could alternate. So like think about the camera angles where it's just like bam Hassan, bam Austin, but then you're just like you could throw bread to each other like the dough, and you're hitting different audiences. So yeah. you you should be really yeah. capitalizing on the market. Yeah. Why are we hitting different? The women, audiences? the gay community. Why are we? Why are we? Wait, are you saying that Austin is not attracted to the women? No, no, I'm saying that he's not hairy, so you can get the people that yeah, don't yeah. like hairy. He is men. hairy. That's a that's actually a lot. He just like shaves. Okay, well he doesn't. He's not publicly hairy. That's yeah. what matters. He he hides it. He hides his hairy. Uh, he hides his. He's hairiness. Lebanese. Well, he Where's can't it? help it, man. Oh, what here was the what was that thing? Um, what what is that thing called? That um, I think it was in the Victorian era where they would get like the, like a muff was what was it called? What? Where was like the crotch hair pieces that were like fake oh, crotch hair? Oh, the things? um, a merkin. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wait, they would just like. Yeah, cause like lice and stuff, so they would shave it off. Wait, but... this. 
Merkin actually? Yeah, there look it up. Look up a I don't want to look it up. Look okay, it up. I can't look it up. A dick wig. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's weird. Okay, okay. Does does anyone have any like good misogynistic TikToks like or else I'm just gonna search red pill? Actually, I'm gonna do that anyway. Let's look at some why, red pill. Why are you looking up tapeworms? What? Why are you looking up tapeworms? It's kinda weird. What tapeworms? I was in your search results. Yeah. Do you need you want to talk? Do you want to talk about that? Oh, I think it's because of the last thing that I clicked on, we're, like the chat sent. We can listen, man. What is a tapeworm? Isn't that like um? Or <laughs> have you seen that video with the oh. big old tapeworm hanging off that grizzly bear's butt? Oh, it could have been Kaya. Kaya had worms. Uh, when she got tapeworms from her uh, mom from being born. Tapeworms are like natural ozempic. That's funny. I got worms from my mom too. That's the brain nice. worm. <laughs> okay, why red the red pill, pill is needed? Pill. Can you explain? A red pill is more of like a realistic idea of what dating dynamics are. Blue pill would be more what most people grow up hoping for it to be. What you see more portrayed in Hollywood, that you're going to meet someone, fall in love, it's all going to work out, a woman's going to complete your life, you're going to live happily ever after. Red pill more being, especially in today's day and age, where between Tinder, Bumble, Instagram, people know their quote-unquote value on the dating market. Women who have a lot of guys interested in them, it's free social media where maybe they weren't as aware of that. Because of that, that you have to approach it from like a more realistic mindset that you're not yeah, i doubt that they know a real woman to to get them to portray <laughs> yeah. themselves i suspect this is yeah it's a shorter it's stock gonna, like profess your love to someone and it's gonna work out red pill blue pill what do you think about that yeah what do you think i thought is there more to it or you just that's it saying? i don't know why i don't it was feel like, like super i don't feel short. like there's any point i need more i need more like I need more from <gasps> these guys. There's this. Wait, hand me my phone. There's this one. YouTube. Movies that turn boys into men. Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? Don't show. Yeah, make sure you don't show. If the B movie isn't in here, I'm gonna be so mad. You know what? You here know what? Here is what mommy movie. issues look like in. You know Embrace. What you when you do that and there's like muscles there. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just gonna be honest. There are so many better things to do than exercise. Have you seen the coin slot? No. What the fuck is the coin slot? I don't want to know what that is. I think it's a reminder for men that scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. So we no longer have any need for you genetically or physically. How can I your fucking opinion? Crisis of male suicide. Reject modernity. Embrace masculinity. It's so funny that like a lot of this stuff is just like. Do you know there's an alpha male convention? I really want to go to it. What the fuck? There's, Are you for real? I can, Where? I, no, oh my goodness. Here, I think it was in. Um... Okay, I love that. No, here, look. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, I think I have there, seen it. Alpha video. Con. Yeah, so you should search that on YouTube. Alpha Con. Because there's, there's like a bunch of like recordings from it. But look, look at what like the dudes look like in this. Yeah, those are alpha males. What do you mean? Those are like, those are sigma males. Too. So the, wait, the bull, Jimmy. So if Rich. you're if you're a sigma, like, can you Alpha Con the movie? Why do they all Here look divorced? In my hand, picture your competition, right? And this. <laughs> Wait, it's all just people dunking on the Alpha Con. Where is the real ones that like are pro Alpha Con? I think you have to go to like YouTube though. For that. I, I want to. Alpha Con is also military preparatory preparatory school in Brazil. Yeah, we don't want that. That's like a whole thing too, isn't it? Those like pseudo hey, boot camps. Oh yeah. Can, like, Do you feel better about being a white man in America in 2022? Oh, think when you're around others. Is that Tommy been, Lauren? It, that, oh my it? god, it is Tommy Wait, Lauren. It totally I think. is. Oh my god, I haven't seen her in so long. Like she's just so washed. She was doing Alpha Con uh, sponsorships and shit. That want to be their best self. That want to achieve great things. It rubs off on you and it inspires you. There's a lot of messages in there that people need. Have, like, a, Dog, a what are you doing? Matt Lip. 
Yeah. What, are, what is this man doing? Look at this alpha comment. I guess, is Bro. that alpha? That's kind of alpha. He's got no hair either. What happened to hair? I mean, he's got great he's legs. He's got like the five inch inseams on too. He has great legs That's though. That's kind of good. Honestly, you got legs like that, you want to show it off to the other alphas. It's like, it's like he's peacocking. <laughs> Bro got the Rhodesia shorts. The Aussies wear them too. There's like super fucking short. You hear about becoming your best self, learning how to invest, learning how to truly become the greatest version of you. That's what an alpha mean is. That means you're top dog for who you are. What I see here, what's really amazing about AlphaCon is like, <laughs> we're not selling anything. There's nothing to give. And so it's all just... of the speakers and all of the experts. They're doing Christianity too. This is like right up your fucking no, alley. Did that man have legs? Experts and coaches are teaching from a genuine no, frame and a genuine state. Wow. And they just want to serve. But I, I don't know if I saw what I saw. Bro, I mean, dude, dude, I, I, like, why are you dressed like this, my man? What's that shit happening? That terrible. Like, he's just like, listen, it would be ableist if I didn't make fun of his outfit, okay? Because that would require me to, like, treat him differently, and I'm not going to do that. My man, you don't have to look like a magician, okay? Like, what's Wanna happening? Serve. But I don't want anyone here <laughs> to feel like they're being sold very, something. Like what? In a very like loving way, and I don't mean it in an offensive way. Oh, oh god! Oh, so here we go. Is there... <laughs> but if he has the magician fit, do you think he goes like, I can show you to make my arms and legs disappear? And he's like, whoosh. You know, maybe that's why. I, I feel just, like I feel like I I'm shouldn't comment on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was her comment, not any of ours. All I right, think I wanted on. to put this on to provide as much fucking value as I possibly can. Oh my god, bro. You are 40 years old. Why do you have a fucking mohawk? Well, I know why he has a mohawk. He, that's, that's the bull. It, no, it's because... No, <laughs> that's his name. That's it's because his name, his, the bull. It's because his hairline is receding. And he wants to like make <laughs> it seem like this is intentional. That's why he thinks this is hiding his hairline and is not working. Okay, <laughs> he looks like Guy Fieri in like an alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, it just, no, he, he looks yeah, like um, bad play, Guy Fieri. You ever play Oblivion? <laughs> yes. He looks like like an Oblivion character, maybe like like an Imperial. <laughs> okay. For every single one of you, the biggest part in any one of the things that like one of the things that these guys always do is they they dress up in like the tightest, ill-fitting suits of all time. And it doesn't matter. Like, they can still be, like, kind of skinny. And they still, like, it's like, it has to be super tight to show off the muscles. Oh. Like, like Anything in life is a... Too. You know, like, guys with their... Applying the principles yeah, like, that like, you... Like, they got a stick up their ass. <laughs> like, I don't know why. It's like, yeah, I fixed my posture. I fixed my posture by shoving a fucking metal rod in my asshole. Biggest part in anything in life is applying the principles that you learn. If people will apply the things that were taught on the... Come on, Brody. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that, dude? Dude, they, this is. That looks like a Merkin. This is like a variety <laughs> pack of, of every kind of divorce dad you can get, okay? He's like the ultimate divorce dad. You have to fight other divorce dads. <laughs> like he's just, yeah, he's winning. And then if you beat him, then you fight the bull. He's <laughs> winning divorce. Oh, he's God. winning the oh. divorce dad court. <laughs> How much do you think he pays in child support? It's like, for, <laughs> first of all, none of these motherfuckers are paying. They suppo they're they supposed to be, but that doesn't mean they're paying, okay? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's got a Backstreet Boys haircut in 2022. Why are you doing that to yourself and others around you? Stage, AlphaCon, absolutely life-changing. AlphaCon is about understanding as a man or as a woman how to be the best person that you were meant to go be, how to be the number one version of yourself. What is this guy say? What does he sell? <laughs> I thought he said number one virgin. <laughs> His hands look so soft. I don't understand. Like, they just got an accountant there just for finances and stuff. <laughs> like, what? He just looks like a red. He doesn't even look. There's nothing that says even, like, alpha in a funny way. You know about what he kind of looks he's... like? Have you ever seen a modern family? Oh, my God. You're so right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, except, like, uh, it's like way same... less pizzazz. Like, the, 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 yeah, yeah. the collars are supposed to be, like, with, like different shapes and it's, shit it's, on them yeah pause Sorry. and check the audience of that panel how many women there's actually hella women there it's like shocking <laughs> self that you could possibly i'm a big believer in emergency you come to an event for one or two or three days damn dude they got the smoke detector in the fucking in the See, best western conference hall I like think, that's that's a fire i think hazard. this is how cutie should start doing the streamer i agree i fucking agree like, yeah we, we need fog machines i think cutie should just 
debate everybody and make it be alpha con she yeah. should just bring these guys over and be like guys actually you know how like she brought the uh the the fucking hypnotist the, oh. the hypnotizer <laughs> guy who oh was my like God, is the ch- the yeah <laughs> she should just do that again but this time with like alpha con guys and be like yeah guys actually i brought you all here because you know i wanted you to be alpha you know what my dream event is is i want to <laughs> if someone else does it they stole it from here i just want to say this okay but Inviting like a bunch of streamers, but then also hiring a bunch of uh, actor like impersonators, like mm-hmm. character impersonators off of Craigslist or something. I think you can still hire people off Craigslist. <gasps> yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But like having you know a Michael Jackson person, and they're just like, hee hee, you know. Uh huh. And what's then just the, like uh, like a bunch of them, like all different the, characters. What's the meta? Like, what's the? Is just oh, it's, it's just, just a, for it's fun? just a night of them being in like deep RP with just streamers. That's so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's That's funny, nice. okay? It's funny. Dude, this Thank you and the puss for the raid. What? Hope you had a good stream. Also, what? before I forget, uh, I forgot to run the three-minute ad break at the top of the hour. I'm going to run it now. Let's continue and with you the go all When I sit at home and I'm on YouTube or I'm on Zoom, you just don't get that. Like, there's something about this guy that says alpha, right? And by that, I mean that in, as a pejorative here. Like, at least, like... They love doing the t-shirt and, like, blazer combo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's... And also, like, it's like a weird... It's like an odd pattern blazer. Like there's something that like sticks out. That everybody was sitting in their seat. Everybody was glued to the stage that I that I saw people speaking at, and uh, it seems to be kind of a hit. You're gonna have to ask them that though. Seeing this come together, <laughs> AlphaCon, what it really you know is turning into <laughs> is what I've dreamed of. This guy's name is Bridger Penning. Pen. Bridger Pennington, I need to, he's a crypto guy. He has to be. Well, I guess they're all crypto guys. Bridger Real Pennington. Fun hey, he has LinkedIn. Oh, Lord. I'm not clicking. Boom, LinkedIn. people, welcome back to the show. Today, we're going to talk about how to start a private equity fund. We've had a lot of people ask us about this, specifically in private equity. So today's episode, we're going to go through all of this. What you What? Just like beg rich people like i don't understand how are you going to start a private equity fund from scratch that's why we got to watch the video man <laughs> wait okay the launch okay fun launch formula i'm skipping the other it's making sense so far now you're probably sitting there like bridger hold on okay i, I get it that's kind of the structure i understand the structure but how do i actually start the name of the video is how to start yeah by the um, way 16 minutes in <laughs> fun. son of a bitch and I, what's been interesting is over the last couple years you know i've ran my funds and i've started what is that moving fucking <laughs> shoe in the background <laughs> oh man he's like the type of dude that i think you know like gives a tiktok advice where he's like open up a business and then like take out a bunch of loans in the business name and then close the business <laughs> You'll never owe any money. Money, infinite money glitch. Dude, I saw that shit for someone like advertising Airbnb strategies. It's like. <laughs> Food is on the way, finally. It's gonna be a while. Still, I'm so hungry. Oh, to interview blood sugar other people on this channel and show that have all actually gone out and started their own funds. And I, I try to only interview people that did it unconventionally. We're Wait, you're right. His name is the bull. I, I thought told you were you. just saying that. Why no, f- why would why I just Why do you say know that? all the characters? You know the lore? I do know the lore. You know- That's so weird, dude. What the fuck? You are the only woman that has ever thought about these men. I wanted I wanted to go to this. These I feel are- like I like oh, but it would be so I like funny. people watching, you know? <laughs> this is a convention comprised of men that have been forgotten by women. Okay? That's the whole reason why they're doing the convention at all. If they only knew that you were out here fantasizing about the bull, like you would, you would fix them like that. They'd be like, "All right, no more, no, no more need for this shit." No, I just like I like making people like that uncomfortable. It's so easy. Tim Ballard is the Sound of Freedom guy, right? He's the this guy. Do you know the lore about him? Mm-mm. Do you know the movie Sound of Freedom? No. Wow, you're such is a that the, the you're such a libtard. One? Yeah. Yeah, you're not a real fucking patriot. That's wow, right. That's Jenna. why you don't fucking know. I thought know. you were different. And I'm proud of being <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't, don't try to hide. Don't try to hide your when lack of patriotism. Free. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Ballard is the, is the fucking... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're trying to give me banned? What's happening here? It's just girly things. Don't worry about it. Don't even do... This is the... That's how we communicate. I have, I have women on my stream one time, and immediately I'm about to get fucking banned here. Jesus Christ. Um, you've changed, Jenna. Thank you. Tell them. I've changed? 
name? Jiggy Joe. <laughs> I guess you could say the jigs up song. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, fine. I can't watch From the Jiggy rest Joe. of this. I just, I can't. They all look like they're cops, by the way. Like, they all look oh. like different seasonings of cop. All got thumb vibes. They all look like they own that specific type yeah, of like glasses. The thumbs, like the thumb thumbs from Spy Kids or whatever they're called. Yeah. But also <laughs> just cops. Like cops look like that. Cops look like that. What incredible event, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Jeremiah the Bull. Why are entrepreneurs willing to sacrifice risk and go through so much stuff? What is it that we want to be successful for? Why is it that you want to do whatever it is you want to do? Why is it that your message is that message? I don't want the status quo. I want something more. Anybody else feel that? You're with me. Say I. I really felt that when Paul said, I want you to write down what the fuck you want. And if you don't know, that's what you're here for. Is Bro, the they, they need to fucking visit BarberCon. That's it's what like they, they need to so do. They say so much, but say nothing at the same this time. This guy's called The Muscle. Figure out what you want. Money doesn't make you what anything you other than... <laughs> I think he's like, maybe he's a power lifter. I don't know. I think I... everyone should just like, because it's like the bulls, so it's like the muscle. It's like, this is the leg. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're like, yeah, they're, they're <laughs> like... Um, they're like a Guy Ritchie movie. Like, this is the driver. It's the muscle. It's the driver. <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's the bull. <laughs> Easy to fucking... <laughs> Easy to tell you how we're doing a fucking ice, yeah? What you already are. Don't blame it. Try to get... This guy, we call him the brawn. Get some of it. Get as much as you can of it. Because when you get that money, it allows you to do bigger things. Get in bigger rooms. Hang around better people. Grow and develop. You guys want to grow, right? want to grow? I want to fucking grow. I want to grow, dude. Today, you can just do things to do things, or you can do them to be great. You can do them for in. Wow, that's. I never I thought feel, about it I like that. I feel like that. they have, like, there must be some sort of, like, training course you can sign up for, like a master class they offer. Yeah. One he's of them has teaching to you how to do things to do <laughs> things. Sorry, do things to be great. Not do things, just to do things. I'm gonna which see, is what I'm gonna many... see if one of, the, one of these dudes does cameos. I'm going to buy you a cameo. Dude, thank you. Oh. Thank you. I, I, I do need that. I need my life to be a better. These guys yeah. will teach me. They can save me. Yeah. Impact. You can do them for purpose. Oh my god, there's not <laughs> one but two of these? Bro. Bro. <laughs> they, they just keep getting worse too and like there's... more gel. It's so ugly. How? It's so nasty. How is there more than one guy over the age of 35 with this hair at this convention? What the fuck? If I'm the bull, I'm pissed. Because I'm like, dude, that's my thing. I'd be like... It's like you stole it. Dog, stole it. dog. I'd be like, Like, Hank, we both can't have, like... Hank, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta pull you aside here, Hank. Hank, listen. Like, it's a little awkward. Me and the guys were discussing, like, only one guy can have the fucking hair. Like, you can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. Just me. I'm the bull. The mohawk ain't fooling nobody, man. Yeah, it's like, especially because right <laughs> here, you can tell where the hairline starts and ends. You know what I mean? The infinity hairline. He has like... <laughs> you have to like collect all of them. It's They're like crazy. infinity stones. <laughs> Yo, the tip of his hairline is like behind his ear. What are you doing? Oh, oh my God. That's so oh. funny. He should have he went full bald at that point. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, Let's talk right. business. Let's talk strategy and growing some fucking wealth. I hope that you're proud of what you believe in, and I hope that you can defend it. And I hope when someone asks you what you believe in, I hope that you answer loudly and proudly. She runs on that. We all have alpha in us. The question is, is are we aware of our alpha? So we're all. Oh, we have all. Uh, we all, all have alpha. alpha in us. We've all got the same fucking alpha in us, bro. The world needs oh, two things. Shit. I think we need stronger yeah. men and women. It's that the are bull. He, he, he's inside all of them. There is entrepreneurs that create jobs and create outcomes, all that different type of stuff. But we also need stronger men and women who speak their truth and lead because we're in a very weak. Bro, I feel like there's a way better motivation circuit for this guy. Like, how did. Because, like, there's a lot of dudes like this that, like, overcome great odds and stuff like that. And they're, like, motivational. How the fuck did he choose to be the alpha guy variety of this this uh, type of thing? You know that meme uh, where it's like, if I speak, Twitter will suspend me? I just don't get it. What I don't get is... 
I feel like this is inconvenient to not have any like wheelchair or Where any lamps? assistance. I mean, I think like, it's like his own. Uh, that's probably his own choice. Like, I mean, obviously he's alpha. He got it. Uh, with but his but strength. like the thing I don't understand is like with his magic. The thing I don't understand is like there is a lot of um, there's a lot of guys that you know there's they're like all over TikTok. They're all over Instagram. Like. Dudes who like work out, overcome great odds, and it's like it's awesome, great. Like it's maybe not for me. I don't really care about motivation because I'm beta, but um, but the point is like they don't. I don't think they attend these conferences. You know what I mean? They're not going to the alpha one <laughs> specifically. <laughs> yeah, you know, these guys could sell the fuck out of some life insurance. I think that's probably what they do. I mean, you care about freedom. You care about impact you care about taking care of other people and that's something that i can rally behind i think the people who are here are gonna win big time they just gave me something and they didn't ask for anything in return when you give you receive and so jeremiah's proven he's given 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 and i guarantee you he's gonna receive the next one i'm really excited what this like content will do to help fill up the room for next time i know it's definitely who's that guy Why taxes? <laughs> run, it, run it back to that guy yeah, he's just like a normal guy. That? He doesn't look as alpha as the other guys. He just looks like... No, no, no. Go to like where it's like just a straight on shot. He looks... um, You know that Spongebob episode where it's like, chocolate! <laughs> 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 or you know the Pokemon Shuckle? Like you could edit this guy's face into like the Pokemon Shuckle. I, I, you, I couldn't tell the difference. Does anyone know about the convoy? The, Chad, do we have any like videos of the convoy that's like heading to Texas? Or is that not, no longer a thing? Because I heard that like uh, there was apparently like a like a convoy of patriots that are heading down to Texas to protect America's borders, or rather, I guess like protect Texas's borders oh, from America. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if they're like they're in Texas already. I don't know if they're actually doing it. I feel like they should kind of called it off because of January six, and everybody was always like, "Yeah, they're this is they're all feds, brother. Watch out." Oh, they disbanded because they thought it was all feds. Well, they're not wrong. There probably was a fuck ton of feds in there. <laughs> Anyone that's in shape, I would immediately... If I join one of these, like, white nationalist militias, you know what I mean? If. I'm looking around. When? I should say when. Yeah, you should have a little too. Yeah. When I join one of these white nationalist militias, I'm going to be looking around for the, for the skinny dudes, okay? Anytime I see a motherfucker who could do more than, like, 10 push-ups, that guy's a fed. Absolutely. Without a shred of doubt... That motherfucker is a federale. That's a federal agent. Okay. Well, I'll vouch for you. It just remember that. Wait. Huh? How could you do that? Do you have a lot of pull? I just. I'm guessing it probably. Oh. It probably works. You know, like the wider you are, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay. You're too okay. wide for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> listen. Um, listen. This. This. I, I'm. I'm a little sad that they don't have the. You've got the Fed build. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll have to eat a little bit more donuts. They're baptizing people? Oh, so they are still operating. Oh, God, they're only on NTD.com? That's how you know this shit fall off, it fell off so fucking hard. What's NTD? NTD is like, um, it's like one of those, like, Falun Gong, like, uh, CIA-backed, like, psychopathic Chinese cults that are, like, anti-Chinese government. So, like, oh. and this is, like, New Tang Dynasty, yeah, it's it's one of those. What's a what's that um, God. Epoch Times, another one. <sighs> no, it's like the stuff you see all the flyers for that Shen Yuan. Shen Yun, oh, yeah. So yeah. Shen Yun is also owned by uh, like Shen Yun is literally Epoch Times. Yeah. yeah, I was I was reading on that where it's a front. It's like a huge cover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is all the same shit. Absolutely. No, you you nailed it. Huh. Five thousand years of Chinese prosperity, baby. Shen Yun is uh, the same That's as like so the crazy. Epoch Times, yeah. and it's all owned and operated by a cult called Falun Gong, and they're fucking nutty. It's awesome. Have you ever been baptized? No, I'm Muslim. Just fun. <laughs> no. I would do it. I don't That's give a You aren't you literally a Baptist? Don't they? Isn't that because they baptize you? Isn't baptism a big part of being a Baptist? No. You didn't get like baptized. You said as, like, you a went baby? to a Baptist Christian school. There ain't no fucking way you didn't get baptized. What Christian school? Okay. Gaslight girl boss. That's what I like to see. <laughs> they are baptizing her in a cow tro for feed. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? That's the perfect place to do it.
Dude, I love this. I, I love this. This is your people. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking. Yeah, I got They're the... defending Texas. I want to. I want to. What is that? Oh, Bucky's. Yeah. Let's Aww. go. That's uh, that's Texas. That's a Texas institution. Orthodox, Middle Eastern, Christian here. Uh, we baptize our babies in church, never in natural water. This really does show they have more fun than we do. It's a trade off, though. Because, like, on the one hand, on the one hand, they have more fun. But on the other hand, they're scared fucking shitless all the time of, like, normal things. Like, imagine, imagine being legitimately honest to God, terrified of going into a city. Okay? I feel like that's no way to live. Like, I don't want to be scared all the time. I don't want to constantly be in panic mode. <laughs> I, so, it's a it's a little bit of a trade-off there. Like, like you're having more whole, fun. Like, shtick? like, what do they stand for? These guys, what do they stand for? Yeah, like, what America. are their, like, beliefs? America. So they're, they're scared of cities. Why? Why are they scared of cities? Yeah, like the bull. Oh my. The bull and his boots. Oh, oh my god. My god. And the skinniest He's skin type. Pepper if you crop that, everyone would think that was a chick. I'm gonna say. He's. <laughs> I don't care. I'm saying. Yeah, it. he's. He's. You know what's ironic? Like he doesn't realize it, but he's. He's defying gender norms. He is. In a big uh, way. Yeah. Okay? Good for him. Good for him. In a big way. <laughs> He's slaying, to be honest. <laughs> With the no. skinny jeans? Yeah. And they're ripped, too. A little slutty, too. He just, yeah. like, has no okay. idea. Come he on. has no idea. He thinks that's, like, peak masculinity right now. He's like, yeah, He's hell yeah. Right now. <laughs> hell yeah, I'm that, showcasing like, is it. it. Hoodie too? Oh, shit, I think the food is here. Or, oh, shit, you're right, it is. Yeah. yeah, no. It's hot. It's hot. It's, uh, I, I, I love it. That's With like a, the lifted truck in the that's, background. That, that pattern, <laughs> With the matte black wrap. That is a fashion crime. To have that pattern on a hoodie is not, you're not supposed to be. Why, why hoodies scare me? Because I feel like I always get the cuffs through. What? I found this video replying you know? to your chat. Oh. It is not ableist to say that if someone owns a Funko Pop and has it on display in their home, that I will not see them as a voice of authority when it comes to the specific topic of maturity. It's just simply not an ableist thing to say. That's crazy. Owning a Funko Pop I went to does a Funko not Pop meetup once. make you a disabled person. <laughs> <laughs> Funko Pop people and like I would go so far person. as to argue weird. that it's the other way around. Oh, wow, you guys are being quite able as right now. I, I see that uh, I brought some toxic people to the they chat were, today. I went to the SDC Funko Pop all disabled or neurodivergent thing within like a minute of them being listed up. It's crazy. They were guzzling cans of creamed corn when I went I'm to this. <laughs> yeah, I had I had um. Were they all soy facing like? Ah! Kind of. There was like a dude and he was like dressed like the Joker. He was trying to talk in like a Joker accent. And then no. someone dressed up as like Harley Quinn that was doing like aerial like stuff with like the silks. I'm not going to lie. It That sounds like a meme, but I believe you. It sounds... No. Oh my God. I had a dude follow me back from my hotel because I got one of the black SDCC exclusive, a black uh, Power Ranger Funko Pop. Because you get three Funko Pops with your blind bag. And he saw I got it. And these full grown adults were trying to steal my bag. And this one dude followed me back to the hotel. Okay, but they're like Funko fans. You could probably beat them up fairly <laughs> easily. Like this, you you literally have squatted me before. I, I feel like you could just you could destroy a Funko Pop guy. I don't know. One hundred percent. You could like one kick to the chest and they're they perish. <laughs> but I feel like they like pain. I feel like they would like they would. Yeah, enjoy they would it. nut so hard. They'd be like, ah! They yeah. nut so hard they would yeah. pass yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, if they're into that sort of thing, um, throw them into water and they despawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Insane Disney adult moment. Okay, but I want to see more like Alpha Con style misogynistic shit, and I I feel like we're not. I feel like we haven't been able to find better misogyny guys. You know oh, what right. I mean? There's like this. Oh, that's what I was looking at. Man, we went on a tangent. Oh, wait, with AlphaCon? There was like a. Oh, alpha the bull show. has his own like YouTube. Oh, yeah, where they give like advice. Wait, who is Jeremiah the Bull Evans? Oh, shit. Oh, you my guys, God. we're just so getting started. I've got something that I believe in. I want to show you. <laughs> he got the Christian Dior Air Forces, he's got an Automars Piguet. Like, he's Lambo. got a Lambo. He's got all of it. 
The food is not here yet. It's gonna be here very soon though. The baklava actually got here, but. God. I met That's Jeremiah. Amazing. He stood out to me really quickly. From my perspective, Jeremiah, is three words. I would say passionate, oh, look, wait. friendship, and I would say entrepreneur. Trying so hard. When you actually <laughs> Can you go back to like where it had the red background? Yeah. Where, where can I? I met Jeremiah. Uh, he stood see. out to me. I'll pause it quickly. From my perspective, Jeremiah. Look at like the little back tuft. Ah! A little back tuft <laughs> like, like this? A little, a little rat tail. <laughs> He's hot. Spartan wannabe. Look at the lambda symbol in the shield. It's kind of cool that he's like trying to make it seem. Okay. It's kind of cool that he's like subtly trying to make it seem like he has the hair because he loves like Spartan stuff and not because his hairline is like <laughs> has, has gone away. And that's the only thing he can keep alive. Like, that's a that's a that's a post hoc way of just uh, slapping it on together. Tier three to Nick Merckx. Oh, dude, these guys are all Nick Merckx fans. One thousand p. <laughs> Thirty four. I'm Katie. Fifty. Thank you for the fifty. Get the subs. It's three words. I would say passionate. I would say friendship. Try and I would say speak. entrepreneur. When you actually meet Jeremiah, you learn that the dude is like the nicest guy on the planet. He just wants the best for everybody. Whole lot of projection today, huh? Oh, come on, dog. I already take hair medication. Like, my shit's already fine. This, this is it. It doesn't get any better than that, but it's not going to get worse. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Buddy, and he wants to teach, and he wants Alpha to dog, on the other hand, chose a, a different you know, way to go 10, about 15 it. 15 years of seasoning, dude, he'll probably end up a trillionaire. It's easy to think flashy cars, all the stuff like, oh, dude, this dude's probably a jerk. He's arrogant. He's a male. Alpha male nice affirmations? affirmations? Like, legitimately, I actually mean that. I look at Jeremiah, dude. That's the... American dream. That's the American, right? The muscles, the fitness. Odin alpha male affirmations reprogram your mind for success. Oh my God, they we do have affirmations. To. Affirmations for men, masculine power affirmations for dude, men. Dude, dude, this is so okay. These so, have like a hundred and fifty-one thousand so views. Here's what I here's what, what I've talked I talk about this quite a bit. Like, uh, there is like um, I uh, I think that there is like there's like this neoliberal monoculture where like everyone becomes a liberal basically. Like, you have goop on the one hand, as this chatter says, and that you have goop for men. Like, this is goop for men. <laughs> and there is, like, a very funny way that... Oh, I, there's no visuals on this. It's just audio. I want to listen to I it. I want to see the visuals. It's just a little. Okay, this one is 655,000. Want to be an alpha out. male? I mean, that's gay as hell, dog. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You have, like, a buttery... Ass. This is literally... <laughs> You have like this buttery ass voice. Like, you want to be an alpha male? Yeah, hell yeah, baby. <laughs> like, why? You have a dude whispering in your ear, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is gay SMR. Oh. This is Alex from Mindful Wave Studio. The purpose of these affirmations is to help you cultivate your inner alpha male. Bro, he didn't even spell it right. Alpha male? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. This has 655,000 views. It's time to transform into your most alpha state. This Start is literally, okay. This Hold is, uh, what learning. is it called? Sissy Hypno. This is Sissy Hypno, but Alpha Hypno instead. This what's, is the- What's Sissy Hypno? Oh. Like Goody? Uh, no, no. You don't know Sissy Hypno? You know Sissy Hypno. You're no. such a pervert. You know. Come no, on. No, what is, what is that? Shut the fuck up. What it's is like, it? Uh, it's I, like, am, I am not. It's like, like the type sissification of, of someone? It's like a, no, no, no! It's like a, it's like a type of porn where they're like, I'm just so. Alpha, I think they say know? like you got a, like a small dick or whatever. Or no, is it, is that how it works? There's like it's a, it's a type of porn. I was like, oh, you're where they so, do this like, basically, but so in the pathetic, opposite direction. Like your cock so humiliation like, stuff like porn. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, humiliation okay, porn, yeah. in the in the opposite direction, forced fem, that kind of shit. Oh, okay. Force, uh, forced feminization. It's awesome. A kind of alpha not seen before, an illiterate alpha. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of them are illiterate. It's force fem stuff. Yeah. Look at the comments and see what they're saying. I am an alpha male. I have an alpha mindset. I have confidence. I'm a leader. If someone who already is ready for this, press big like. I believe you, man. <laughs> this has got to be bots, right? My voice got so much deeper. I'm more at ease in social <laughs> situations and more at ease around women. It's been like two weeks. I didn't listen every day and was more relying on myself than on the vid to feel confident. But when I did, it was at least two or three times. 
This is Oh, women crazy. watch them too as a as a as a women. Do not. Okay. This is a TikTok alpha male reaction compilation. Not date attractive women. Oh my god, congrats on coming out. Slay. I'm on the right track, baby. I want dating okay. women. Yes. Yeah, wanting to be with a woman. How gay is that? You win, sir. Okay, everyone is like making fun of these guys. I want to I want to know not the I don't want the reactions. I want like the OG ones. How hard is it? I feel like it's like impossible to not see these fucking losers uh normally all over TikTok. So why is it so hard to find them now? You know what I mean? It's like odd that it, it's odd that we're having such a hard time finding like alpha male shit unironically without uh, without having like other people react to it or something, you know. Have you seen Ho Math on TikTok? No. Yeah, it is clear. Big Tech is silencing uh, alpha males, alpha dogs. It's fucked up. Lambda Con announcement? No, I don't want that. I don't want that shit. Alpha male soul on IG. Some. Okay. What a. What a better way to kill time when the when the food comes by scrolling the TikTok channel and Discord. Okay, first of all, I I took a little peek at it. I'm just like kind of worried, but I don't know how it's gonna work. But let's see. Um, I'm finding I'm finding a lot. Okay, this is I guess this is how we do it. Slow mode is enabled, but you are immune. Amazing. Seven psychological Rigs tricks that make a girl obsessed with you. Oh. I need that for you. Here, like this. Rules must be a part of an upload TikTok. No links. No TikToks longer than two minutes. Uh, use upvote and downvote to vote for the best TikToks. Posting anything TOS is a one month ban. This is my community's greatest TikToks that they were able to find. And I'm a little scared to show them to you because we don't have a very funny community. Whoa. Well, dude. sometimes they're funny, but. Whoa. Trying to find this one. <sighs> you guys let him talk to you that way, man? What the fuck? All right, let's see. <laughs> I kind of like those ones. The yeah. Shrek ones are stupid, but they're funny. Oh, here's this one. Like, modern males want to be penetrated by women. Here's why. 1.6 thousand views. Wait. Yeah. 1.6 thousand or 1.6 million? No, just thousand. Wait. Modern males want to be penetrated by women? Yeah. Is that what you just said? Yeah. That's the name of the fucking thing? That's the name of the thing. It's Wait, this is like... eating tapeworms. Huh? I don't know when I Google eating <laughs> That's what I was asking about earlier. Um, his channel is Mr. Oh, Locario. What the fuck? Why did it pick that up? That's some... No, that's literally the TikTok I clicked on from chat. Why would that be in my search engine then? It's like about a dude eating tapeworms for clout. Is the TikTok that some chatter sent me. Yeah, this, this is the page. Mr. Locario. Who is almost here? Fuck, I'm so How hungry. Mr. Locario got rejected at a sex party. <laughs> Why do they make these videos? Oh, like, I don't understand. Duck Hunt, thank you for the 10 gifted. Mr. Locario. Yeah. Your search bar pulls from your history? Oh, that's why. How to never get played by women. The simple oh. way to get 100% cooperation. That seems insane. That was streamed five hours ago. Oh, shit. Wait, this is the recent. Today, I'm going to be talking about this topic because this topic goes hand in hand uh, with having a program. Because this is the thing. If you have a program. You, call yo, you, need, a, you need to get to the it's next over. one He, he just in. ended it. He, he streamed it six hours ago. He has a denim newsboy cap. You can't get played. It's impossible. You understand what I'm saying? It is impossible for you to get played if you have a program. See, Rosebud says this. Don't game. know accidents happen with motherfuckers that got game. Right? See, when you have game, accidents... He has that on his soundboard. Dude. Dude, he has that ready to go. 
He had that ready to go. He pressed the button. How many times do you think he has to play that? That he like has it ready to go? That's crazy. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it's, so <laughs> it's just not gonna happen because what happens is that when you have a program, you have a structured. Hold on. All right, you where is it? You want to see I the? I clicked on his videos. You, yeah. you want to see the the woman like the like men want to get pegged by women thing? Is that what you I want? Yeah, 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 I think it's the green one. No. How to eliminate the fear of rejection forever? Caller says you can get the hottest women if you have money. No one tells you about cheating. This about cheating on your girl. Never give a woman a second chance if she does this on a first date. Why women want to be promiscuous and not settle down with you? Why modern males hate on women who like sex? Um, Mr. Lakari explains why Destiny was never really in an open relationship. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. That's... That, that made the big meta... <laughs> A, he, he's competing in the divorce dad Olympics too. Um, two time divorce champion. Okay. Uh, he's farming. Where is it? Where is the one that you're looking it, for? I think you might have just scrolled past it. I don't see it. Never it's take right women here. who give choosing signals. It's a yellow background. Modern males want to be penetrated by women. Here's what. Wait, it's yellow. not showing up for me. What the fuck? There it is. There it is. Oh. Yellow, yellow. Happen. You go and approach, you interact with her, and you see if that oh, shit could go down. If it don't go down, you move on to the next woman. Like, is that simple? See the, pro see, the problem is a lot of y'all motherfuckers have big egos. And so what y'all want to do is y'all want to y'all want to be in situations where y'all are like, y'all trying to look cool. You're like, oh, well, I'm not trying to approach a woman and tell her or, 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 or talk to her about sex because, you know, I just need her to approach me and she got to flirt with me and she got to, you know, give me the choosing signals and she got to do this because it's like, nigga, it's not that serious. Women are not aggressive like that in mass. You understand what I'm saying? It's your job as a man to take the lead. Calm it's down, your job man. as a man to lead the interaction where it needs to go. You understand? The fact that niggas are expecting women to, to, to be the leader in the situation is bitch made. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all are so bitch made on this. Man, you know, I'm going to just sit here and she just needs to come up to me. And if she really likes me, she's going to talk to me. That's big shit. Is this true? You see what I'm saying? Because you as the man no, no. have to create the situation. No, no, I agree. I agree. I'm not one of these choosing single niggas. You know that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, that's why, like, flirting goes, like, there has to be a limit on it. You can't just be confident and take on their outfit. But this, this is what I'm fair, saying. Like, but, but this is the thing. Flirting is a way to get the situation to turn sexual to see if there's sexual interest. That's what flirting is about. It's not about just complimenting a woman so all day bad. or talking so all this funny. shit. If you're going in a certain direction, the flirting is to give her something to respond to. You understand? Wow. Remember, women have to react to the man. To the man. That's why when you fuck a girl, when you put the dick in, she gives that old face like she's reacting to your penetration. You have to penetrate women in every situation. A lot of y'all niggas want women to penetrate y'all. That's why y'all want women to approach y'all. That's why the niggas want women to, you know, give them all the signals. Y'all want women to penetrate y'all. You have to penetrate the woman. The woman is supposed to be in response to you. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all motherfuckers. It's the truth you guys don't want to hear. Why did the video pause in this window? <laughs> How did you feel about that? <laughs> I, I I thought he was spitting straight facts. You know? As a woman. Right, I mean, he was he spoke so confidently, it had to be true. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. just know a lot about being penetrated. He's really obsessed with the penetration thing. I don't even know where to put all this. There's so much. So much. Okay. We'll put this... We'll... we'll hold this back here for now. I think I, I feel like Get I need an extra table or something. Oh, come on. What's wrong, baby girl? What are you doing? Don't. <laughs> Is this a gift? Oh, thank you. I'll treasure it forever. It's like magic. It's like a dandelion. You gotta make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> you should blow it not oh. directly into my mouth. Okay. How about that? How okay. about it? All right. <laughs> Can I have a piece of bread? I've been, <laughs> I've, I've been starving myself. What? Please, sir. Uh, okay. 
Fuck. Right, we have so much. You don't have to eat everything. You can just like take one bite or something. If you like it, you can eat more of it. But we have a lot. Um, okay. All right. So. Huh. Where? I don't even know where to begin. Um, I already listed out all the stuff that we have. Thank you. Want some hand sanitizers? Sure. Nice. Um, please play top left. What? No. How crime works? Gang rivals? No. No, we're gonna be we're gonna be eating, okay? <sighs> we're gonna be eating. Specifically Turkish food. Or Chicken, that's fine. Is it my phone up here? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's what's that? That's köfte. Oh, shit. But here, uh, get one of those bigger bags. Pass get that bag, girl. Yeah, but this under, one? yeah, but make sure that it doesn't like explode underneath <laughs> while you're picking it up. Oh, that it. one has like a hole in the bottom of it, I think, because it's too heavy. Okay, let's see what's in here. Shit ton of utensils. <laughs> I love killing the planet. Yeah, we're we're fucking ruining the, the turtles. Planet. They sent Fuck me them so turtles. many. They sent me so many utensils because they like think that this is for a thousand people. <laughs> I have to know is that red wig or gorgeous dyed hair? Are you wearing a wig or is it dyed? It's a wig. Wait, really? <laughs> What? It's not a wig. I think I kind of crush it, bald. Okay. You would crush it. We got breakfast hard, foods bald. first. Okay. This is sujuk liyumurta, which is just eggs and sujuk. It's a type of uh, like spicy sausage, kind of. Here you go. Um, you can try it by dipping it. Uh, is it like just here. putting my finger. In? Hold it. Hold it for a second. Oh. Offering sausage on the first <laughs> meal. Um, huh? We have I like simit. that eggies with me. <laughs> this is simit, which is like a oh, sesame yeah. uh, salty pastry. This is achma, which is another uh, salty pastry with less... Uh, and this is a pocha, which is uh, another salty pastry. That's like kind of breakfast food. Here, put that over there. There's supposed to be some service break. Oh, here it is. Here is a pide. Here you go. You can dip it in there and try it. What do you mean? Just in the yolk? I think so. Would you like some pizza? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Awfully kind of you, sir. I'm going to take this. I think you're supposed to get some like the sausage with it. <laughs> okay, now your turn. Yup, mom, this is your It doesn't look too good. You're not wrong. Two girls, one bowl. Let's see if you like it. Um, your food is foreign. It's confusing. First of all, Denim's is Arab. Okay, so she's not confused, and it's okay. Get him a fucking plate, you ape. This is the plate. She, they have a plate. Okay. Girl so, dinner. Um, I'm gonna put it in a tier list on a. Like we're gonna try to make a tier list website if we can. Okay. Let's see if there's a. Turkish food tier list. Turkish food tier list gone oruç. Okay, this has some of it, but it's not enough. Um, mm, let's see. I have to make my own. You didn't get them drinks, bro. Jinne eve götür börek de açar. No. Okay, what do you guys think of this so you should, far? You should put on like restaurant music 
I don't have any restaurant music. I don't know what restaurant music would be. Is that just like tap music or like what? Well, like, I don't know, music that would play in a restaurant. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> the full experience. Oh, like some Turkish food? <laughs> the Turkish food? Yeah. I'm down. <clears throat> Run it back. Ucuklu yumurta. Okay, we're going to take an image here. Open a new tab. Wait, what the fuck? Save image. Oh, it's a WebP file! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck! I hate WebP so much! I hate it so much! It oh, it no! <laughs> no! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, it's a JPEG. It it's a JPEG. We found one. It's a JPEG. Do you want to put your bread here? There, there's going to be more food. It's okay. You don't have to be scared of letting go of the bread. Wait, how do I... <laughs> My blood sugar is so low right now. <laughs> oh, it added it. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's like... Okay, so first up, we have Sujuk Liyamurta. What do you guys think about it? S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. You can be on. Are those I don't know the, 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 what do you call the sausage? Sujuk. Sujuk. Yeah. I like that, but it's pretty plain, so I'm gonna just say C. Okay, so you can with the C tier, all right? It is pretty fair. I yeah. like I like how uh, it's seasoned though. The spices were good. It was like some the cumin or something. Good. It was good. Okay, this is pastirmalı toast. Okay, pastirma. It's a little. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't travel too well, but it's basically like a grilled cheese sandwich, but with um with kashar painted it with uh, kashar cheese, which is a type of like. It's a type, I guess it's like a salty cheese on the saltier variety. And then pastirma, which is, um, I guess like the English variant is pastrami. It, mm. it is also spiced though. So here you go. You're going to try it. I'm going to cut it in half or something. <laughs> split it. It's going everywhere. There I'm going to try it here as well. <laughs> so much, I appreciate it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. You like it? So, this is much, this is much, uh, like it has a lot of spices surrounding the meat in order to cure it. And that's what you're tasting. There's like a faint sweetness to it. Yeah, it's good. I think this would be really good if it was actually warm and like crispy. Uh, yeah. Want some more? Are we ready for the next one? Okay, pastirma toast. Does it make your pee smell weird? You know what? It might. It actually might. Eat up. <laughs> Why? Are you going to pee on someone? <laughs> Is that what you think I do? <laughs> no. All right. What do you, uh, what do you put the pastirma toast at? I feel like I'm not experiencing like primo toast. Well, yeah, it's not going to be like perfect. Yeah. I don't also think uh, we do have iodine somewhere in there in the other bag. Can you give me the last bag over there? And then swap this out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Oh, I think this is ice cream as well. Turkish ice cream. This is Aydan. If you want to try it, we can get it out of the way early. Um, this is a salty uh -oh. yogurt drink. I'm scared. It's not. I mean, there's like different. Uh, there's like Arab versions of this too and Persian versions of this too. But I wanted you to try it because um, I feel like Americans like they don't. They're not used to this taste. Yeah. Salty yogurt? Yeah. He's talking about There's yogurt. no mint in it. It's just salty yogurt. That's it. Does it have like variations where there is mint? There's yeah, mint? but that's not say. Turkish though. The, the variations with mint in it is like, I think dog or something. Like there's... I like them. I like yogurt based stuff though. 
Why salty? Like, what do you normally eat this with? Does it matter or no? Um, normally you eat it with like, you, you just drink it alongside like all matter of different Turkish food. Hmm. Like, uh, all matter of different Turkish food, like donut and, and things like that. But it's a, it's a staple, it's basic. It's yeah, actually, like, it's not offensive at all. I feel like the acidity would go well with a lot of the heavier spice meats. Oh yeah. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's Aydan. Save Aydan for the lahmacun. Yeah, you'll have it. You can have it on the side with lahmacun as well. And pretty much everything else, really. All these fucking mezes. Oh, this is also another sweet one. And I think this is probably a sweet one too. So, oh yeah, this is Dutch. Okay. I'm gonna put the ice cream in the fridge so that or in the freezer so that it doesn't go bad or it doesn't melt. But here, try that. That's cigarette the one on the top right this there one? next to the soup. Yeah. We have to rank the sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. Bring it back. Oh wait. It's just like cheese. And the sandwich for me was also like a C or a the D. The sandwich for me was like a B. I think it's just like, I gave it an extra point because I think it would normally be very crispy. And yeah, very... I think if it was like... Okay. Maybe on like a different bread too. I don't really like the bread. Okay, I on. Um... This is light on. Okay. Let's see if we can save it. Okay, we can save it. Thank you. are pretty God. neutral. What are these? So that one is a uh, cigarette Wait. That one is a cigarette which means like a cigar burek. Burek is like a. How do I describe what burek is, chat? I don't know how to describe what burek is. Um, it's like a pie. The cheese pie? Like a cheese pie, yeah. What kind of cheese is in it? Uh, it's feta cheese. Oh. It's pretty simple. We call it, yeah, it's a pastry with cheese in it. We call it Bayos painted. It's supposed to be fried. Um, it's feta filo pastry. Oh, this is really good. It's actually a pretty decent version of this. I think the simplicity works. I think it's nice. Yeah. Like a Turkish spring roll, chap. Okay. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty like simple. Um, I could see like myself being high and like crushing a plate of those. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> B. I'll give it a B. B? Yeah. Okay. Budik doesn't have cheese. We're gonna have a problem. Suck my dick, Balkans. Okay. Yes, it does. <clears throat> Balkan chatters. Shut the fuck up. This is not about you. Okay. Okay. Um, you. We can try the the Turkish salty pastries as well before we move on from the breakfast section. I guess. Well, this the budik is not really breakfast either, but it can be. Here, the pastries are in that big bag. <laughs> yeah. So, here. This is pacha. Go ahead. Uh, that also has feta cheese in the middle of it. This is all breakfast uh, food, for the most part. Um, they they like um, brush it with egg wash. Um, yeah, with egg. Yeah, on the top, and it has feta in it. And Achma has a like, similar consistency uh, to the pacha as well. Do you like it? This shit is so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's that I've had some that's very similar. 
This one's good. I like that it has sesame seeds on it. Yeah. This is like A for me. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right. Um, there's many different variants of pocha. Um, this is just one of them. It's probably the the pina de pocha. It's uh, probably the most popular one. I personally prefer like no. Um, I personally prefer the pocha with like no cheese in it, but the cheese one is pretty good overall. Um, you said A tier. I personally you, think so. Do you agree? We can be controversial. <laughs> I guess you'd be like a staple. I think it has a lot of versatility to the dish. I think you could do a lot of stuff with it. That's why I'm giving it, boosting it a little bit. I'll give it like a B. Okay. I think it's an A tier. So I'm gonna, we'll, we'll put it, we'll keep it at two A's, one B. The A's have it. Damn. It's called democracy. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> okay, thought, so if you like sesame, try we're... the simit. This <laughs> is an iconic <laughs> Turkish street food, simit. This is like a more breakfasty uh, spot, more breakfasty version of it. But this, um, you can find on the street, like street, uh, they sell on the street everywhere. Uh, it's a it's a salty pastry once again with uh, sesame seeds all over it. Here you go. The one ring to rule them. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you can uh, you eat married? it on its own. It's a little bit dry on its own. Usually, like the way you're supposed to eat it, especially when it's fresh. Um, is is with like uh with like a triangle <laughs> cheese. You eat it with cheese? Yeah. Seems I don't know how fresh it is though. Let me Seems kind of dry. It's really dry. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's a little bit dry. <laughs> you break in like sesame seeds fly everywhere. Oh, that's good. Well. Here it goes. Here, give me the breakfast uh sujuk. You can eat it with breakfast food too. Sorry, I put some stuff on top. It's all good. Do this. That would probably help a lot with the dryness, yeah. I'm like, this was some like shachuka. Oh, sh. I would go crazy. On its own. I wouldn't go out of my way to just eat one of these. Okay. Mm, yeah. Maybe harsh, May but like D. I would never, I would never get one of these, I think, in a store. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I think this one's not very fresh, so. I'm only gonna come in as a tiebreaker. I'm gonna say B. I'm noticing a lot of cheese. Are Turks not like those intolerant? Fuck no. Okay. And then the last one is Achma. This one. Mm-hmm. You want to show it off? Here, you can take it out and show it off. What's this one? That one is also still like in the same vein as the breakfast, uh, the breakfast food. See me, does that D? Is this the same thing? What, which one is it's, this one? It's just Achma. It's just a different variant, basically. Uh, similar to the Simit. I prefer Simit over Achma, but some people, um, some people prefer Achma <laughs> over Simit. What'd you do? Do you not like it? Is it dry? Do you want to spit it out? I'm just trying to eat it. <laughs> you can spit it out if you need to. It's all good. I like this one probably the most out of the bunch. But I think because this one's like not dry. It's got a good flakiness to it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Was... Kaya, get, get out of there. So what do you guys like about Achma? I like the texture. That one was pretty flaky. Kaya, out. Oh, God, like you see all the crumbs? Are you kidding me? Oh, God, finally, I can eat. I'm starving. Okay. I give it like a B. Yeah, I think so. I think when it's warm also. Okay, Achma is at B. Um, all right, now we're gonna move away from uh, the the you know, breakfast stuff and things of that nature to this is lentil soup. You can try this. Do you guys want water, by the way? There's two bottles down there if you want water. 
water rations. Yeah. Um, Don't drink it all at once. This is uh, Magime Chodosa lentil soup. Um, it's oftentimes, I mean, depending on who's making it, sometimes it's like even yellower than this. But uh, it's also another Turkish staple. You can just eat it with like by dipping the bread in it if you want to get a taste of it. Here, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Like that. Give me a piece of bread. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lens is also a classic. It's even in this list already. This is like an. This is good. I like this. Okay. This is an S for me. S tier. That's Damn, actually. You're putting the that's actually, in there. Okay. That's actually seasoned. It's not just like bread and cheese. Yeah, that shit is S tier. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Nice. All right. Lentil soup at S tier. Let's go. We we got our first S tier. Um, all right, so this is going to be a, a, an entire platter of like apps, okay? And we're just going to, we're going to fire them off. I'm not, I don't know if I'll be able to, wait. I think this is Baba Ganoush. Um, mm, but this is Shakshuka, you were talking about that earlier. So this is, yeah, this is Baba Ganoush, I think. Looks like it. You can dip the bread over there into oh, it if you want. Do you ever dip like veggies and stuff into this? Or do you eat it? No. Like, no? Oh, wait, bread. No, you, you eat it with like uh, lavash or bread or you eat it. I mean, in Turkey, like we eat hummus, for example, with like a spoon. We don't like dip shit into the hummus. Oh, that's Yeah. Good. That's like, okay. Çatal kaşık yok mu abi? Var ama ne ne boş var. Çatal kaşıkla yemez bunlar. Amerikalı bunlar. Um, they're saying why don't you eat it with a spoon and a fork? And I'm like they're American. They don't do that. Okay, so that's baba ganoush. What do we think about that? I give it an A. Hmm. I like it. A. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna try to remember all that and then put it in afterwards. Okay. This is tzatziki, jajuk. Oh, yeah. Classic. I'm sure you've had it before. Where's the spoon? You want it with a spoon? There's... For you if you would like. Do you want another one or do you have one over there? I have one. Okay, perfect. That's a lot. Is it? I like tzatziki. I, think it's a, I use it more as like a dipping sauce. So you're supposed to in Jojik is supposed to be eaten with a uh in Turkey at least. It's supposed to be eaten with a with a spoon. It's not like a really? Yeah, it's not a dip at all. Hmm. But um but in America, in many places like they use it as a either uh they use it as a dip or they use it as a condiment. But but yeah, we um we I like eat that it. there's a lot of yogurt based yeah. foods. So the Turkic people that came, that descended from the uh, Asian steppe were all nomadic. So they were always on horseback. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why a lot of the Turkish food actually heavily incorporates milk because they would use horse milk and make like, you know, yogurt and things of that nature with the horse milk. So that like a lot of our food has uh, like early from early on, a lot of our food has always had uh, yogurt in it. It's also a good way to balance out the spice because there's plenty of spice as well, which is used as a preservative um, in many of the... Um... Do you guys still actively use horse milk a lot with your dishes? No. no, 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 of course not. They once, you know, they figured out domesticating cows. They were like, this shit's way better. I Can assume. you pass the lid? I don't want anything to like spill. Okay. All right, so Jujuk, what do you uh, what do you say to that? And this is a pretty good version of Jujuk too. I'll say, I'll stand on this one. At, at least B and A. I like the yogurt based one, so I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. B? For the baba ganoush? 
No, for the uh, Jejuk. Uh, that was the yogurt one we just tried. Yeah. I like yogurt based, so I'd give it yeah, like an A. Okay, Baba Ganoush, what about that one? I know, I like that. Yeah. So both both Baba Ganoush and, and uh, Jujuk A tier. Okay. That's good. Um, Here, this one is... Okay, so this one is Esme. And this one is Mohammed, but I'll show you that afterwards. So this is like the salad one that I mentioned. It's like, it's got tomato paste in it. It's supposed to be like a salad, but not really. It depends on how you make it. Um, Esme just means like crushing. And that's, I guess, like you crush the spices alongside the onion and, and the seasoning and the tomato paste and the tomatoes. It's mm. supposed to be a little spicy as that's well. Good. Maybe like an ash. I've had like a version of this. This shit's pretty good. It's also a good level of spice. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that on there. there. The ones that we, the ones that I use, I'll just like put over. Yeah, you can put, um, you can use that with the bread as well. This one is Mohammada, which I really like from this place. Mohammada is like very, it's kind of <laughs> similar to Esme in many ways. It's got um, uh, walnuts on top of it as well, but it's uh, it's more pasty, I guess. Here, you can use oh, this I'm with, definitely with wait, I'm just uh, with bread, definitely. <laughs> You don't want it with the nuts? I prefer no nuts. You can dip it with <laughs> bread too. You don't have to you don't have to hit it with a spoon. Well that we're supposed to use a spoon. No, Mohammed, you can actually uh, dip stuff into you can dip stuff into everything. This is meze. So like you can use normally there's a table bread. Turks consume a lot of bread. We are probably one of the most like bread consuming nations. Every Every meal has a shit ton of like, um, there's like a Turkish bread, uh, that is, I don't think they really have it in America, but here, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. It's nothing that you see here. Ekmek? Ekmek Khalifa? No, that's not bread. That's a You guys dessert. use a lot of pistachios and stuff too, no? This. Okay, so this sofre ekme, okay, is a table bread. This literally is like the, this is the most Turkish, one of the most like iconic Turkish things you can have, okay? Um, it's really, it's crunchy on the outside. You have this little like crust area right here. And the inside is actually very, um, the inside is very soft. So normally, this is the, this is the type of bread that you have at every table, at every restaurant. They slice it. And, um, and that's what you eat everything with. Stats feed. Bread consumption annual per capita. Turkey consumes the most bread. Yep, there it is. See? God damn. Turkey consumes, wait, what? 200 kilograms of bread per capita? That makes no fucking sense. How large is Turkey as a country? Um, Turkey is 90 million people. That is a sizable amount. It mm -hmm. looks like a Mexican bollillo. Bollillo. We also use bread. We also use like the Turkish bread, the table bread, and like uh, various different foods as well. So that's probably part of the reason why it uh, is is so um, is like that. Okay, this one is sadma or dolma. It's a uh, grape vine leaves. I love these. Um, with uh, I think this is. Oh yeah, this was uh, this is cold. This is like Greeks eat this too. I think. Um, do you, or like sarma? Lemon? you can put the lemon on it if you want. Do you guys care? Um, it's actually not my favorite. I actually don't like this at all, but there's another version of this that is warm and you're supposed to eat with um, with yogurt. I could see these being good. With having like meat in it. This one does not have meat in it. It's, this I one think, just rice? Yeah, I think it's like rice, right? Let me see. Yeah, I think that one is a, yeah, that one is rice. And um, yaprak dolma or sarma. And uh, this one is consumed cold. It's, it's really sweet. Yeah. It's not my favorite. And it, yeah, it has like pine nuts and things like that. Yeah, there's an Arab version of this. It's called mashi. Hmm. And it's not sweet like this. But so, it's also not my favorite either. Yeah. Also, a lot of this food is like, uh, I mean, a lot of this is like every other country in the region also has their own variants of it too. Like, it's not just... 
I think I'd like this Turkish a lot more food. with like the yogurt. I'm gonna have his mom on it. Wanna give it to you? I'll try it. Yeah. They put raisins in it too. Is that where the sweetness is coming from? Can I dip, dip it? Can I dip it? Well, I know you said no. You just spin it. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't care. I mean, it's not like you're not supposed to, but it doesn't matter. I don't make the rules. This one is shakshuka, which is um, fried eggplant, tomatoes, and more tomato paste, obviously. Peppers, fried peppers. Way better with the yogurt. Fried yeah. onions. Do you want more or are you good? No. You eat that with bread for sure. Where do I put this? Okay, so what do you think about dolma? Mm, I've had those before. Or sodoma, rather. Which means to wrap. I don't know if I'd eat them on their own. It's definitely better with the yogurt, though. I prefer the um, the cabbage leaf Russian variation. Mm. It's like gulps or something like that. Those are really good. That that for me is like C. It's not bad. It's oh, just not. Before I, forget, I just don't like it. Iconic, obviously hummus. This is hummus with uh, pastirma on it. So. Is it that meat or? Pastirma is the meat that you saw in the uh, in the first thing that you had, the toast that you had. Um. So this is like, here, I'm going to try this as well. It's fire. Jail, why is there pastirma on it? You put pastirma on hummus. You can do that. I've had it in Turkish restaurants. I wouldn't I'm Turk. Ben Türk restoranında yedim hum uh, şey hummus üstüne pastırma. Koyuyorlar sıcak normalde. So normally it's supposed to be warmer. The hummus is supposed to be warm and the pastırma is supposed to be warm, but um, çok yaygın. I think someone said um, someone said maybe Aleppo. Like it's it might be like uh, Arabic influence as well. What do you guys think about the hummus? That's pretty good. It's hard to say because I feel like hummus is one of those things that's like restaurant to restaurant. Yeah. Some places yeah. just have dog shit hummus. Yeah. This that's is, pretty good. This is a very good hummus. Yeah. Um, this is a Turkish hummus. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's the mixture of tahin and the beans that they use in it that make it like different. But I feel like this is um, this is like very close to uh. Turkish hummus. It's like a little sweeter, almost. Yeah. Oh, what'd you guys think of the shakshuka? Did you try it? Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was like an A for me. That's an A? I think I'd agree. Yeah. The hummus is like That's also good as an fuck. A too. Yeah. Well, the hummus is an S for me. It's really good. We could put it up at S. Okay. Hummus S here. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use that as a placeholder for hummus. And then... Is there shakshuka in here? No, it doesn't seem like it. So they also put uh, eggs in shakshuka as well, I think. This is the variation that I know. Yeah. Um, we we have something like similar to that, I guess, like called menemem, but we don't... I've never had shakshuka with egg in it. Really? Yeah. It's really good. Okay, well, I'm gonna use it as a placeholder for hummus. Um, okay. Let's move on to the meats because they're getting cold. Oh, last thing. This is ichli köfte. Sorry. It is uh, ground ground meat or ground beef or minced beef uh, inside of a fried dough. Oh, this shit is so good. Yeah, inside a fried dough, and it's got like some nuts in it too. It's like pine nuts, I think. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Mmm. I love this. It's not crispy, and it's not warm. Yeah. Just... If not for that, this is S. For, for me, anyways. I really love this one.
Isn't it fried bulgur? Yeah, I think it's not dough. It's bulgur. It might be bulgur. I'm not entirely sure what they what they fry it. Is this like a blend of lamb and beef, or is it just? Oh, um, I think it might be lamb. Yeah. Like, this it's is fire. Like yogurt, yeah. You can put, um, you can put lemon on it if you want. Acidity for sure, just because it's a fried food. Mm -hmm. Kind of helps cut that. You want some lemon? Yeah, you gotta have the acidity. It's fucked up because it doesn't look as good as it is. In my opinion. I think that's about I should ask for this. being used to it. Because like when it, I it see it, fresh. I know exactly what it tastes mm -hmm. like. So I'm like, this is going to be fire. Mm. Okay. Imagine giving cold food and ratioing it. Chat, we have limitations, man. I, I don't have like a fucking five-star Turkish chef coming in here to <laughs> fucking whip it up in my kitchen. You know what I mean? It's the best we got. Stop complaining. Okay. What do you think? Ash. Ash. S tier for the fucking uh, köfte. Okay, you should köfte. Do you want a napkin? I mean, you could have afforded one. Oh, shut up, food munch foot muncher. <laughs> Freaking perv. <laughs> Whip them dogs. <laughs> you just came in here. Like, you can't... You should have a little bit more, you know, shame. You can't be having a name like Foot Muncher and come into this chat and make demands like that, okay? Punish him, run an ad break. I thought it was like, you know Amen. what? I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> before, because I forgot to run it at the th top of the hour, I'm gonna Bad run it now. Foot Muncher. Foot Muncher, you are now the reason why everyone's seeing a three minute ad break. Okay. No, this is, this is collective punishment. Is there a cap for this? Have you seen it? It's like somewhere mm -hmm. over there, maybe? No cap. No cap. I don't see it. Is it not this? Or is this one for something oh, else? It might be, you're right. What the fuck is right for me? Okay, this one's baited. All right, we're moving on to the real shit. This one's beite. It is basically Adana kebab, which is one of the kebabs you're gonna have in a second. But instead, it is wrapped up in a lavash and has like a tomato, um, like, like a, what it would be, it's like kind of like tomato paste on it. Okay. It's one of my favorite foods. Um, this is the same sauce they use on Iskandar as well. Iskandar kebab. You can dip it into the... You can dip it into the, the, the yogurt in the middle mm. and give it a taste. You're gonna fucking love this, I think. With the yogurt in the middle, yes? Mm hmm. It's a fork or a spoon? It don't matter. As long as it gets in your mouth, that's it. The watch is the thing around it, thing surrounding it. What is that face? It's good. It's like smoky. It is smoky. Yeah, the meat is uh, smoky. I like that. What's the uh, outside? La wash, which is like a like a wrap, I guess, it's like a burrito wrap. I don't know how else to describe it. I like the smokiness. Yeah, same. And the yogurt? No. It is good. I give it like an A. Okay. Beiti. Beiti kebab is what it's called. It's a Turkish dish consisting of ground beef or lamb, grilled on a skewer and served wrapped in lavash and topped with tomato sauce and yogurt. The dish is named after Beiti Gular, the owner of the popular restaurant Beiti in Istanbul. That's weird. I don't know what the fuck it has on top of it here, but cheese. Uh, I don't think it's cheese. Or it might be. Weird. I don't know what else that would be. Weird to see it with cheese, but oh fuck! <laughs> I almost fucked it up. Okay. Um, you said it's an A. Mhm. Mm okay, Beatty is at A tier. Let's go. Um. Pop vagina is Mrs. Did no, I don't think it is. But anyway, um, Beta is, is at A tier. Okay, moving on from Beta, we have Lamb Shank Pirzola. Here you go. I don't know how well it traveled. 
You can take one first. Go for it. You don't want to. If you if you don't want to have it because it hasn't traveled well, it's fine. You could take like a nibble. No, no, I want to eat it. I just I haven't ate anything all day, so. No, I'm trying, like, don't don't even try. It. It's not that good. Is it I mean, you might like it. No, I love lamb. I just, lamb um, is like kind of gamey though, so when yeah, it's yeah. not like super warm. Like lamb and duck are probably my favorite proteins. Really? Yeah, right here. So this is very gamey, um, normally, but. And I, I think it's like hard to make really well, like lamb shanks. The thing is like, um, you don't really put too much on the lamb shanks in Turkey. Like you just kind of serve it as is. Uh, the, the, at most you put kikik and like some spices. Kikik is uh, oregano and like some other spices on it. But overall, I mean, it's cooked well. No, it's not bad. Is this just potato? Oh, it's just mashed potato, yeah, on the side. Up. Don't forget to rate the iodine. Yeah, we'll do it afterwards. So that's how it's normally seasoned. Um, pretty much. Yeah. What did you think about that? I had some good lamb shanks, and those were not good lamb shanks. It's like C. Yeah, that's like a C for me. C or D. Okay, fair. Here it is. Also, we might be a little biased because it's cold. I'm freezing right now. You're cold? Mm hmm. Oh, are you actually? What the fuck? Are you sick? Oh, you haven't eaten. That's why. It must I, be. That's what I said. I'm you got like, like low blood sugar. Yeah. I was okay. a little nauseated there for a second. What is the cat after this? I don't even know. Oh, One of those oh, things over there. Um, okay. Moving on. This one is going to be fire. This is köfte. And this place actually makes it really good. Um, oh, uh, lamb, you said C tier. Let's put that into C tier. This is köfte. So a lot of people think Swedish meatballs are actually Swedish. When in fact, Swedish meatballs are actually a Turkish invention. That's right. I don't know if you knew that or not. These are Turkish meatballs. This is like one of the closest I've ever seen to like actual meatballs, uh, Turkish meatballs in America. You can have it with any of the stuff here. This is going to be very spicy. Like this is very hot pepper. So watch out for that. What kind of pepper? Um, I don't know. Just, just hot. Just a jalapeno? I don't know. But anyway, too good. There's, in Turkey, there are regional köfte. You have bulu köfte, which is like a tube, uh, like a cylinder, basically. Um, you have like izmir köfte. Uh, you have köfte from different places around the country. Um, uh, but this is like probably the most average, like I would say this is the most basic köfte. Like when people say köfte, this is what they think of. Inego is another one. What do you guys think? It's good. It's a meatball. This is S for me, but I'm biased because I make this shit myself. And it's, it's so good. Well, the thing about Turkish köfte is, um, I think you're supposed to bake it with bread. You yeah. put like water in the bread. You soak the bread and then you add yeah. it to like the ground beef and then you add the spices and everything. I, was I think it's S tier too. You don't like it that much? I mean, it's good. I'll put some fries. That's not spicy? It depends. It's a hit or miss. Sometimes it's really spicy. Other times it's not well, spicy at all. it depends on the seeds. The huh. seeds are what is, makes a jalapeno spicy. Is that a jalapeno? That's a jalapeno, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, um, why is Turkish food so much like Mexican food? Uh, Spanish uh, colonization and Lebanese people coming to Mexico as well. That's why, uh, including um, what's the what's the thing that they have in Mexico? The the spinning meat. That one is literally Turkish. Like its its origination is the Levant under the Ottoman Empire. Don't know. Al Pastor. Yeah. Do you typically eat these with like those? Like those as toppings? Or? 
Uh, köfte, you can eat like as a sandwich form. You can eat inside of bread. You can eat inside of the lavash, which is underneath it right now. That's actually pretty good too, because it traps all the fat mm. as well. Like the the thing underneath it. My late grandfather used to make it in like a little easy oven and he would put things of bread underneath the köfte. Oh. So as it was cooking, the bread would also cook underneath it with all of the oil that's like dripping off the köfte. That shit was awesome. He lived to like 90. I don't know how the fuck he did that. He just ate like shit, mm -hmm. drank a lot. I used to have, um, I was really good friends with this, uh, Greek Orthodox family. Um, but every Easter I'd love going over their house cause they'd have two giant like lambs and they'd oh. slow spit roast them and just cut it off. And all like the fat would go down on the coals. And then, oh, best name I've ever had. Okay, so Kefte, you didn't like it too much. It's not bad. I give it like a B. You give it a B? Okay, I think it's an S tier too, but since you gave it a B, we'll put it on we A tier. Average it. We average it out to A tier. There you go. It's just so it's so versatile. You can do so much yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What the fuck is this? I don't even. I think this is like the mixture. Um, this is the mixed plate. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. This is. Oh fuck. Why did I get lamb separately? There's lamb in here as well. This is the mixed plate. Um, there's lamb. There's chicken shish. There is uh regular beef uh, kebab, shish kebab. And then there's also supposed to be, oh, there it is, uh, Adana as well. So this is basically like beite. This right here is Adana kebab. It's basically like beite. Are you getting full by the way? No, I just have the pace of how I eat because I'm going to get nauseated just because I haven't ate all day. Same. And this is bulgur. This is what this is what they use on the... Uh, this is what they made the side of the Ichli Kofte with. But yeah, there's also lamb pirzola in there, but if you don't, obviously you already had it. So this is a steak. Um, steak shish. Like beef shish. Chicken shish. Kebab. And also adana kebab. It's got rice in there too, if you want to try the pilaf as well. <laughs> I just need, I need a second. <laughs> Take your time, I'm digging your time. There's also more burek here too, which I forgot about. But here, you try that. You eat that. I'm gonna try the burek myself. I don't know if it's good or not. It don't look too good. <sighs> Can I use my spoon for this? And what was this? Simple hook. Oh. At least that's what we call it. <clears throat> that's chicken shish kebab. You like the chicken shish kebab? So what I like to do is I actually use the meze, like the tzatziki or the esme or baba ganoush with these meats. That's what I do personally, and you can do that as well. Like you're not supposed to like eat it on its own, basically. Why did you wait until I ate? <laughs> um, I don't know. I wanted you to try. I mean, you can e you can eat it on your own, obviously. Like it's it's ready made for consumption. I'm just telling you how I choose to eat it, not the most common way of eating it. And then this is the last piece of the puzzle that I saved. In my opinion, the best for last. And people are going to be very excited for this. This is called a lahmacun. Okay, it is not Turkish, but it is very popular in Turkey. Isn't it? Is it Armenian? Um, I don't know what it is actually. Let's look at the let's look at the OG. I don't think it's Turkish, but lahmacun. Oh, it is a it is Levant. So technically, I guess maybe it is also Turkish. No, it says Armenian. Um, Lahmacun or Lahmacjo, Armenian, is a Middle Eastern flatbread topped with minced meat, mostly, most commonly beef or lamb, minced vegetables and herbs, including onions, garlic, tomatoes, red peppers, and parsley. Favorite, uh, flavored with spices such as chili, pepper, and paprika, then baked. Lahmacun is often wrapped around other vegetables, including pickles, tomatoes, peppers, onions, lettuce, parsley, and roasted eggplant. I've never actually put roasted eggplant in there, but you're supposed to eat that while drinking the idon. That's like the duo. 
I'm gonna make it for you guys. So normally, this is just how it is, right? As you guys can see, but you're supposed to put um, all of the things that I just read to you, which come in this little cup for us. Luckily, including parsley, <laughs> you are dying. Including parsley, onions, uh, and also tomatoes. And then you're supposed to um, douse it in uh, lemon as well. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to eat it. You're dying. That was just a big piece of chicken. That was, yeah. And I was, I raw dogged it. You told me after. You're you such a big it. girl. I thought you could just fucking handle this meat. What is happening? I li I'm genuinely shocked at how little you eat. You're like I a haven't bird. ate all day. You you're, texted you're me this morning and you said, don't eat anything. That's so why, because stomach... I was going to make you a lot. I was going to give you a lot of food. Oh, so you're just going to shrink my stomach and then be like, oh, hey, put all this fucking meat in it. By the way, um, raw yeah. dog it. Wait, I mean, the chicken, did you not like it? It needed like one of one of those it needed sauce. Okay. It's a little dry. Mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I I genuinely am shocked that you're not uh handling all the, the food. I, I thought you would be like hungry. I am hungry. I thought you had a bigger appetite. <sighs> I'm not even kidding. Okay. <laughs> Denim's is not Turkish. Why is everybody think? Why is everybody think you're Turkish? Uh, I don't know. It's just one type of brown person. Turkish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought that was funny, white girl? Oh yeah. That's fucked up. I saw her. I saw wow. her laugh at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Calls herself an ally, and yet, <laughs> and yet. No, it's just. It's been so funny because I don't know. You've said they've said it over and over that you're not Turkish, and it's just like. <laughs> well, it, this is the misogynistic community. They don't listen to her. That's true, actually. When she says these things, yeah. Because why would they? She's a woman. Based. Okay. Turks in Christ. Yeah. You How much do you think you'd be able to eat? Oh, I'm full. You're full too? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then try this last, and then we have dessert, but we can wait. Or you're not going to have dessert, maybe. It's fine. You don't have to. Do you want to try it? I don't want to try it. Just give me a second. Okay. This shit is good. I know it as Armenian pizza. I didn't know the official name. It's pretty good. Is it S tier forever? When it's done well, it's really good. Mm. We're supposed to have it with iron. What? Nohmajun is. I don't know how to describe it. It's so fucking good. Armenian pizza is how they sell it. Yeah. I didn't know that. This is the only fucking time I've had real, authentic Turkish lahmacun. Okay, this shit is fire. It's actually cold. You're not supposed to be cold, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still so fucking good. Turkish pizza, they them sell to a lot. Oh, okay. In Turkey, they sell it as Turkish. I mean, in Germany, they sell it as Turkish pizza. Are you going to be okay, Dan? I'm, I'm thriving. Okay. She's not thriving. <laughs> When it's I not walk. the same Turkish and Armenian? I suspect it's not. I, I assume that the Armenian one has deviations, considering the Turkish one has deviations as well. In different regions, uh, lahmacun is very different in Turkey. Different spices, um, different meat, different preparation of the meat, but more importantly, it's uh, different spices that they use. Um, we don't have chi köfte, which is one of my favorite foods. It's raw meatball made with raw meat that you cook in the spices itself. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they don't sell that in America. And so sad. yeah, and also uh, we uh, the other thing that I love is kokoreç, which is sheep intestines, but they don't also make that in America either. So, or maybe they do, but I don't know where they make it in. A in, in the intestine Turkish has style. to be like prepared right, otherwise it can mm -hmm. be very, mm -hmm. um, very like metallic tasting, irony. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm you, wanna, you can put it on top of this. Mm. Yeah. You wanna take a bite? 
little nipple. Try with that on. Pretty good. I should have limited the yep. amount of food. <laughs> I realized I got ahead of myself and I bought everything. Okay, you ordered when you were hungry. We've all been there. I did. But. I had a mini bro, so it belongs to the Levant area, so Aleppo, Gaziantep, Hatay, yeah. Um, Adana Kebab also is like different as well. They have Antep Kebab as well. Antep Kebab is supposed to have like more greens in it. Adana Kebab has more reds in it, it has more red pepper. Antep Kebab is supposed to be not as spicy. Whereas Adana is spicy. You're not supposed to just, like, you can eat it like this, but in many instances, you can also, um, just simply, I mean, you, you wrap it up in a dudum. What's that? Dudum is the oh, lavash shit. bread you saw. <laughs> you have spilled so much. <laughs> Holy shit. Dog hair break, bro. <laughs> Hello, sesame yeah. seeds. I'd like that for later. you like to try an American special? <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I like that a lot more, eating it with like these. Which one? So do you typically eat it with like which ones? Does it matter? Um, no, it's, it's a matter of your own personal choice. I, I, when I eat it, like, when I eat, like, the chicken shish, I usually eat it with a tzatziki because it's, like, the lowest calorie one out of all of those other ones. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you can do it with any of them. I actually eat it with the, I eat it with the, with the onion. The tzatziki's good. It's, like, refreshing. Mm. Yeah. Because if you're saying that's how the meat's normally prepared, it doesn't have like a lot of seasoning. So you get, I feel like you get a lot of flavor from like these. <sighs> the, the chicken and the, and the steak do have some seasoning. I think, I mean, it's not like, <clears throat> it's not just straight chicken. The, um, the pizza doesn't have any seasoning. Oh God. They seem like they aren't enjoying themselves. Oh God. I, I have the biggest simp audience of all fucking time so like if you're not smiling fucking ear to ear they're gonna be like dude you're not well we already knew that your audience is misogynistic they look at women and they're like you should smile it'll make you look prettier they're misogynistic in the other direction <laughs> <laughs> no literally he actually beats us off camera yeah that's where i got this bruise from yeah Gonna... Where'd you get that? My what? feet? <laughs> no, that like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are. What the fuck was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well. <clears throat> All right. That's gonna conclude our food portion. We can go back to watching alpha males, alpha dogs. What about the dessert? You want... <laughs> it, I feel like if I give you like an iota more food, you're gonna explode. All I said is I just needed the food to settle a little bit. You've never had that when you don't eat all day and then you like try to eat and then you get like Fuck nauseated? No, I'm, I wanna, I'm holding myself back right now because you guys aren't eating. <laughs> so yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, I feel bad just like <laughs> fucking crushing food. I want to make like, like like a plate though, I feel like. Oh yeah, you know? like serving a bunch of them. Yeah, because I feel like I'd enjoy the, that more if I could have more yeah. like these. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them out for now and then you can make yourself a plate afterwards. Yum. Oh. 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 I should check and see if that one. Yeah, she was she having a movement? Neat. 
Hi, chat. Hi, chat. <laughs> what? I just say hi. So much food. To be honest, do you feel safe? This is what I mean. They're fucking. <laughs> My invasive thoughts, like, smell the seat, but I won't. Oh! What's up, ladies? Think about it. They think someone like you doesn't know how to defend themselves. <laughs> like, they're so dumb. It's literally misogyny by a different name. But we've got a big guard dog. Oh, that's good. <laughs> She's a fragile woman. I just like, you know, when I don't eat all day, I just get super nauseous when I try to eat a lot of food at once. I have to like pace myself. What? Oh. Did you smell my seat? No. Dennis, why are you not on camera? Sorry, I don't want to be on my phone. We have, to, on reta camera. We have to retain his viewer count. <laughs> Remember? Smile. Smile, Denims. <laughs> Pulling in Aiden Ross real quick. Who's that? Aiden Ross? You know who Aiden Ross is. Stop pretending you don't. <laughs> it's not gonna work on me. Aiden Ross? Is that what you said? I yeah. think you're hearing things. Am I here? I must be hearing things. Okay. We also have um, desserts, but we won't do that right now. We'll do that in a little bit. I have simps for my fucking mods in the chat that are losing their minds about how hard the mods worked in the Discord for the TikTok channel. <laughs> so we're going to be watching some TikTok channel shit. Here you go. You can go through. Bagel, no. Bagel, no. <laughs> That's like the opposite of the mohawk guy. <laughs> Bagel, no. Deserved Bagel, no. it. Granny, what are you doing? I'm having a cookie. Granny, those cookies aren't for you. What do you mean? They're, they're for everybody. You bought them only for you? No, but I didn't buy them for me either. And Al's gonna eat them all? Granny, they're dog treats. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was good. <laughs> okay, fair. I feel like I'm missing some <laughs> context. <laughs> it's like, what, it's like, what's all that movement back there? <laughs> yeah, turn around. <laughs> Does he have the gap? <laughs> no, is, is Vladimir Putin blowing up the White House with the Skippy the Dog guy? <laughs> bro, bro, was it that serious? <laughs> all right, my fault. My fault. <laughs> Have you seen Skibbity Toilet? Stop. Of course I've seen Skibbity <laughs> Toilet. I love the beaver. 
。我这个三年，就是想等一个机会，我争一口气，不是想证明我了不起，我想告诉你，我真的东西，我一定要拿回来。You think Chinese people have any idea that like the Chinese beaver has captivated America? Has someone translated what it's saying? I, it's from a movie. It's like originally from a movie. I have to know. It's the greatest. I think like this is this is cultural imperialism. Like America did it with like Hollywood. I feel like Chinese beaver is doing it just on its own. Pure happenstance. Mm -hmm. He's just so iconic. Yes, the netizens love that shit. That's my other favorite thing. That like they the Chinese netizens. That's what they're called online. The Chinese the netizens. Chinese beavers? No, no, no. Just like regular uh, people on apps. Just regular beavers. Like, <laughs> the netizens. So I hear Chinese, Chinese beavers like a psyop. No, I hope. I, I mean. So. <laughs> I hope. Oh. <laughs> He's kind of eating right now. Yeah, he kind of is. He's counting. I'm not gonna lie. He's so sick. Where is the original one? Does anyone know where the original one is? Why does he have box braids? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a it's originally a movie. This is a fan animated version of like a real movie. Yeah, oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. This is like the real. <laughs> this is the actual fucking movie. And then someone turned around and like. Someone turned around and turned it into a Chinese beaver. He looks like a little. Not a chia pet, but like the things that you used to like squeeze out and they would like make hair. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know, yeah, I know what you're talking that's about. What he was, that's his hair looks like that. <laughs> I didn't know this was the original. Yeah, he's... He's so fucking swagged out, dude. He is like, he's the coolest. Um, I love Chinese beaver. I can't believe we got into the Chinese beaver talk uh, again. But all TikToks inevitably end with Chinese beaver. All right, let's watch this one. You guys can watch through the other TikToks as well. I just gotta keep cleaning up a little bit. Do you need any help? No. Ooh, I, I fuck. Made, I made you and Peach already fucking clean all this shit uh, up last your time. Your workout thingy? Yeah, I made them. Oh, I didn't even see this. All right. <laughs> Look at that. That's balance. Oh, you brought your ball over here. What is this Turkish food? Why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're that, that a pussy. Might be, that might be a bit much for me. Wait, so. Wait, can we click it? I think he said we can click it. Wait, what? You can click the, uh, the TikTok. The doctors only care about making a profit when they give you HRT. They don't warn you it's gonna make you sound like Owl City. <laughs> Hands up if you're down to get down tonight. <laughs> Maybe I did. What about it? Wait, that one's good. Uh, I thought that was Tyler one for a second. <laughs> he does kind of have the build. Yeah. It would have been very funny if it was, though. He should recreate that. Yeah, yeah. It could be a hit. do that <laughs> no, okay. what you, do you, the, you like do the nose thing you're like any opportunity you get 
Oh, the silence is deafening. That's incredible. That's actually incredible. That reminds, what was that That one time where I gave you like the edible? Are those my fucking socks? I don't know. Did you steal my socks? I might have. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, she did? <laughs> she will, yeah. She'll eat him too. Wait, where is he? Oh, no, 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 no. Not no. Kaya. No, Jenna. I stole my sock. Oh, I uh, thought you meant Kaya stole your sock. I got worried. No. Does she, she like a sock? No. No, no. no don't give her socks. Kaya's been good. She's been good. <laughs> you want a little treat, a little reward? <laughs> Just like the Tim Pool show, your guests are making threats. Oh no! What threats are you guys making? Outside Durant takes the three. Nigga, what? And hey, I'll be so mad. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's lore accurate, LeBron. Finally, dude, they nerf. They nerf LeBron. They nerf LeBron for the game. It's kind of fucked up. Meowry will also eat your socks too. Oh, cute cat. It would be quite shocking if that cat hit the whip. I'm just no, but that cat can never do that. Raw chicken. Yeah. That's ew. Now I'm thinking about the cat being <laughs> fingered. Why did you? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is very important. It's very important. What? I have waited my whole life. It's my new favorite uh, response meme to mean people on the internet. Let me find it. Didn't I send this to you literally yesterday? No, you showed it to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it says this guy definitely fingers his cat. <laughs> what the like, fuck? Like how do you how do you reply to that? <laughs> Think about it. Your hater gets mad at you. You send them that image. They they're done. <laughs> they're done. I feel like it's it's weird that you have it on your phone though you know what i mean like if if someone said that to me i'd be like why do you have that on your fucking phone weirdo like and then i guess you can respond with well i'm encountering people who figure chicken their cats all the time the what meal would it be chicken biryani chicken what this is indian food chicken biryani for breakfast lunch dinner this is uh, lunch and dinner but you have to have this only one meal for the rest of your life no not this one not this one which one many no no the, the question is you can only have one for whole life yes chicken biryani <laughs> oh, respect. Good. He's right, dude. I I agree with him. Chicken biryani is good. I don't know, Doc. I just be bouncing all over the place. All right, have a seat. What? Get him off! That was kind of lame. That was a little bit lame. I'll say it. Like also, Santa that never real. happens in the real world. For the record, it's like I know. Because my motherfucking brother has destroyed my garage. I'm just saying. It's <laughs> filled to the goddamn brim with exactly that a thousand times over. And we never use any of that shit. Why do I know this? Because every single goddamn time I need something, we have to go and buy a new one. Okay? Anyway. Like, like we have Tekken 8 still running, Lamau. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, here's here's what I was going to... Here's what I mean. I think Murad has bought... My brother's bought like 11 different Allen key boxes. Mm -hmm. And he keeps, like, he keeps losing the appropriate one that we need. Discord says you're playing still. Oh, oh okay. Nice. All right, anyway, let's keep playing. Oh shit. Okay, we're netizens too now. Chinese netizens. <laughs> you were cosplayers? Yes, <laughs> you know what that's from? Mm -mm. Do you know who this guy is? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Who is it? That's the guy who uh is out of his mind. He like he was begging like Trump save me. Trump save me. He did a terrorism. Okay. He did a terrorism and then he like live streamed the terrorism and then he got like arrested and he kept going <laughs> Love that original, man. He's a you? child of God a patriot real patriot. You should know But he tag in Donald Trump Donald Trump if you can hear us, please Donald Trump, please save me 
Please save me, Donald Trump. Please. Blinker noise. I'm asking. <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> You're going to run, dog. <laughs> It's Please so save me. Please get these people away from me. In dear God's name, please stop these people. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Are you brain to Donald Trump? <laughs> They're brain. You reacted to this clip before it went viral, I'm pretty sure. I think so. That's crazy. Or I think I reacted to it live when it was happening. <laughs> anyway, that's a nice little one. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? This is actually... <laughs> okay, you know what? This is actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, if you can hear us... <laughs> Please save me, Trump. Okay, wait, that's actually, wait, it's kind of accurate, too. Like, it's very accurate. What the hell? <laughs> um, bro, his son. It's fucked up. That's tough. They got you locked up for life, my boy. The hell wrong with you? Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, this gorilla is zesty. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you're trapped in here with me, he said. Is that all? Come on, we've all been there, done that. What? Well, I certainly haven't, and you haven't. Kath, I was in the Navy for six years. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, some of these are bangers. Okay, good job. Okay, okay. Good job, Discord. You're actually like capable of making people laugh. That's insane to me. That's insane. This is insane to me. That, like, last time we did this, we did this for charity, and it was you laugh, you lose, and I wanted to actually kill myself. Yeah. Like, very openly, by the end of the charity, I was like, I don't care about the charity. Like, I don't <laughs> care about raising money for abortions. I wish I was aborted. <laughs> like, was this is making funny? me, it's just like, it made me so upset. Cause like, it, it was just like a like a reminder that at the top of the hour there's a three minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime. That's Prime. right. Prime. <clears throat> yeah. Or by getting gifted a sub. You time me out for TikTok, bitch. You should be excited. I didn't ban you for your TikTok. Okay. Let me tell you something. You motherfuckers sent me the absolute worst shit. I'm willing to bet. That the mod team probably spent eight hours <laughs> deleting 90% of the fucking TikToks that you dumb motherfuckers thought was funny. Okay? Let me tell you. They had to literally put boundaries on it like less than two minutes. Has to be funny. So it was like a media share thing? Or no, what? not even a media share. Just like <clears throat> I wanted to be like, let's see if, if I can, if we can actually like laugh. Man farts on dog? Um, oh, I love that. Wait, you like man farts on dog? It's hilarious. It's my favorite genre of comedy. This one? Oh, you're reading the chat. That's why. <laughs> you watch a lot of man <laughs> farting on dogs? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta... People... Were, and you just got a dog? You wanna know how bad this shit was? What the... Someone sent me a motherfucking Facebook link. Ooh. On like, I was like, let's look at some funny videos. I was like, here's a Facebook video. I still have my Facebook up. Speci specifically because there's groups and whatnot on there where you can find very niche memes and it's good. No. Yeah. No. I, it's a different type of brand of people that use Facebook. Oh, I love it. Exactly. It turns out they're also in the fucking Hasanabi community, though. I think if you post a Facebook video, you should be... <laughs> Hey. <laughs> it's just such a fat one. Hey, doggy. Uh. <laughs> hey. I love that he goes, hey, doggy. No? Is that like an actual fart or just fart noise? No, he farts on him, like for real. And is that just like all he does? I think he. this was a wet one. Like it was a particularly wet day. I watched a lot of his guys, to be honest. What? 
<laughs> Timestamp to their fucking shameful attempt at funny memes last time. I got so I don't even like coffee, but I guess I'll try it. <laughs> Delicious. Now let's see what goodies await me in here. Ooh, a cake globe. Wait, cake pop. It appears to be a perfect sphere. Nice. It kind of looks like a turd. First bite incoming. Delicious. Yep. This is numb. I guess it's one of my least favorite types of comedy that I see people on TikTok do, where they're like, I gotta do goofy faces for like everything. You know I'm gonna what I mean? fucking Boss, chew new my arm off. It's over. Shut it down. We're shutting down the Discord. It's over. It's done. Um, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst moment of my life. No, I'm not even kidding. Like it bummed me out. I was like, will I? Like it, it was supposed to be like such a sweet, fun little experience. Like we're raising funds for abortion. Like. Uh, it's gonna make me laugh. It literally, it made me. You can see it in my face. I'm not acting. Like I'm not a good <laughs> actor. Like I'm legitimately so sad. Life. This is the worst. I will literally. Sinirle bozarak gülmeye çalışıyorlar abi. Başka açıklaması olamaz. Yok abi, bilmiyorlar. Gülmeyi bilmiyorlar abi. Hayatımda gülmemiş mi kuluklarım? I wish I could do that too. It was so. It was so, was it so just nasty. Like TikToks or like YouTube videos? They were. They were sending YouTube shorts, TikToks. It was just so bad, though. It was like it was making me so sad, because it was just like a reminder that like these motherfuckers ain't funny at all. Have you ever looked into like the My Hero Academia, like TikToks? No. What? What? Every time you open up this conversation, I always feel like you're going to show me tentacle porn. I don't know what it is about your fucking vibes in particular, but like, you could be telling me about something perfectly innocuous and normal, but you, you present it like it's going to be something weird. No. <laughs> you, why are Excellent you- Excellent rebuttal. <laughs> Excellent rebuttal. Why, why are you always scheming? I can't help. My face just looks like this. You have such a, you are such a schemer, like with your vibes. I'm I don't just know what saying. If you search Bakugo birth video, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing on your spare time? This is what you look at. There's some. I don't even. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's... I mean, it's fully covered. Like you don't see anything. It's just... I don't want to see what it. Flag okay. Is this? Italy. Why did she say Italy? That's crazy. I guess it's because it is Italy. Oh, no. This one's cute. I wonder if someone's made a burp compilation of you. What about like a sneeze compilation? Um, I mean, they, they monitor my piss. Like, they monitor how long it takes for me to pee. Yeah. They're just, they're just trying to make sure you're hydrated. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of nice of them. Measuring like bladder capacity. Pretty much, yeah. Look, I, again, we're splitting hairs here. I, I understand. <laughs> we're not splitting hairs, hairs yeah, <laughs> Huh. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Are you okay? Can we? Can we... <laughs> Look. I, I... Oh no. That's like actually kind of fucked up, chat. That's that's anti-bald. I don't like it. By the way, uh, don't feel obligated to stick around. If you guys have anything else going on, or if you're bored, that's like fine. you can always leave. Don't worry on. about it. I won't. I won't take offense to it. You do have to try the. Don't show your phone, the camera. But you do have to try the uh, the desserts before you leave. You literally you have to try the desserts. Trying to see if there's a burp compilation. <laughs> are you? Why are you looking up ha Hassan burp comp? <laughs> That's so weird. She just told you why, man. I just told you why. Okay. Oh, but then he pulls out, and and it's just hard. It's been a while since he's seen a hole that big. Huh. <laughs> Nice Wait, it's funny because like I guess she's saying her husband's
That's so sick. That's excellent. That one, that one was perfect. That's so sick. God, I love capybaras. Oh. They're so fire. Tell me about the hentai you saw of yourself on eggs. Oh, God, I had forgotten about that. I literally zeroed that out of my brain. Why did you bring <laughs> that I've back seen up? That, actually. Oh, my God, bro. I sent that to you, didn't I? No, it's not. You were sending a hentai of me <laughs> to each other? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you admit that? Because I thought it was funny. <gasps> <laughs> no they aren't they literally float around on their own poop water yeah that's how fucking chill they are dog excuse me well they don't even give a like fuck. Bath water, like poop water? yeah exactly this guy thinks he's like better than a cabin here is what i have learned after six months of no screen time motherhood can be so much less exhaust favorite here's a quick update on the gaming baby so the baby is now a toddler <laughs> since the toddler learning capabilities are enormous she can learn to play three games at once and that'll put her above Dude, this is like I wish my parents did this shit to me. I'd be such a better gamer, and I wouldn't have to, and I wouldn't have to fucking <laughs> listen to gamer. you losers. No, I'm not a good gamer. <laughs> I suck at gaming. Are you a good gamer? I like video games. That's okay. <laughs> sure. Are you, are you good at Dark Souls? I am good at Dark Souls. This is the only game I can play. It's like from software games. <laughs> I liked it. That was funny. Alright, bro. See you later, bro. Yep. I think yep. you took their channel down. Oh, the burp channel? There was a, actually a channel that was like monitoring my burps or something? Who took the, what channel down? I don't know. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, dude. What the fuck? She's looking she up like Todoriki giving birth or whatever the fuck it's called. No. Stop! I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Put it. Put that away, wanna... man. Put that away. I don't want to fucking see that. That's crazy. I'm not looking down there. That's like, that is. It's a, it's, it's a fetish. Oh. That's as what bad as like the guy who married Do you like his Dracula sex doll. Have you watched those I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. Everyone always wants me to watch it. Should we watch it? Dracula? Oh my God, please. Dracula I've what? never seen it. It's so funny. Jenna has very unsettling vibes. Yes, you're absolutely correct on that. Normally, I'd be like, wow, okay, don't fucking, don't uh, say things that are maybe kind of mean about my guests, especially female guests. And honestly, you're the one that I would do make that exception for. Because <laughs> it's like so dead on accurate. We started off on the wrong foot when you said the chicken finger bang was hot. The chicken finger bang? You know what the chicken finger bang is. We watched it together. Oh, the oh. I don't want to watch Dragon Flow <laughs> one through four saga. What the fuck? Or oh, is this the? Uh, no, this... <laughs> no, no. We no. straight. It's like Joji Pink guy wrote this. Yeah, I got it. Listen, I mean it's funny. It's like very creative. A lot of the bars are very creative, but I just feel like oh, God. it's not supposed to be like good. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just I'm trying. AlphaCon 2025 keynote speaker. That's what I'm talking about. If, probably he, apply for if he was doing that, then it would be sick. He'll be that one homie that doesn't drive after the fang yep. out. Yep. <laughs> That's you. That's you always, you, she always has to walk everywhere. <laughs> The energy on this is so ominous. <laughs> Arnor City is wonderful. No walkability at all. Great. Love it. Damn, that went on. Like they could have, they could have cut that down. with like fried chicken right they do if you run out of ideas try using a slur <laughs> <laughs> oh i love all the real it's so good <laughs> damn was that an old lol is that an old lol overruled tiktok uh, look at that classic i absolve oh this guy's my favorite i fucking love this dude he's so good 
Okay, let's watch this. He's a he's a great comedian. In my I opinion. absolve you of your sins. <laughs> you have been forgiven. Um, he has he has like uh, Dan Henschel is his name. He has like different characters that he does. Uh, it's like comedy, but it's also kind of like performance art in a way. I don't know how to describe it. Here, I'll just I'll I'll uh, show you his Twitter. It's very weird, where he will just be like. Um, let's see. What is it? Dan? How do you spell it? He does a lot of meta stuff. Like, he'll just create, like, characters. Hent. Nope. That's not it. Hent. Why is it not coming up? Oh, here it is. He does this. He does stuff like this. If my grandkids wanted to call me, they would. I'm done playing <laughs> games. Is he that it's old? It's so enough? good. <laughs> what? Is that like a filter on him? POV, the cocked out twins are telling me to floor it into the farmer's market. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? <laughs> I've got nothing to no one. Apparently, I'm not allowed to pick my pick up my son from school anymore because of one guy's opinion. What a dangerous home environment is. What? <laughs> when you finally see the truth, your medi <laughs> when you finally see the truth, your medication was stopping you from seeing all along. So he has ongoing running bits. Yeah. Don't like my grade. Suck my dick. Anyway. I like the makeup you have with like the red eyes. Yeah, he has a he does a lot of stuff like this. No morphine until you admit you're the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> no, the best is when he does shit like this. And it's very, like, uh, it's very realistic. And people believe it. And they will lose it. Like, sometimes, at first, when he started doing these characters, people would be like, because he, he would be, like, a doctor. Like, he would do this bad doctor character. Oh, damn. Oh, he's linking up with Girl God. That's sick. Okay, well, anyway... He would do like a like a bad doctor character that people would like legitimately get scared of. Like it would always go viral with people being like, this guy's fucking this doctor is like, you know, killing their pages or something. They try to cancel him or something, or Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, alright. That's random brief aside. Shouts out to Dan Henschel. I thought the dog one that Ed Ingermentum tweets was real. Oh, he did the I hate being a therapist one. Yeah, he he's that oh, one. Oh, that one was good. Yeah. Um. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, so getting going. Breath for me. <laughs> one. <laughs> the lower lumbar. Have you seen them? Um... Ah! Deep breath. <laughs> Like the chiropractor videos where they crack the backs, but they put the mics right near the girl's butt. Yes. Have you seen the ones where the chiropractors fuck up the dogs and shit? Have yes. You seen the vet chiropractors? Yes. Oh, I've watched like uh, I watched it yesterday. I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fellas, you need that. This is what? just orange cat behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I disassociate, that's... Cat lovers. Peter, we've had complaints from all over town. You're gonna have to stop with the kick. Oh, yeah? I think my scary, otherworldly, shadowy spirit friends might have something to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if it's like a real family guy bit or if it's just no! <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, yo That's weird If I saw it <laughs> If Kaya was doing that shit, I wake up in the middle of the night, I walk over to the bathroom, and she's just pissing like that. That's it. The devil is taking over. I, I want to try to be like that. I feel like if a guy, it's easier to do that. 
This is some genotype TikTok. They nailed you. <laughs> That this guy IP IP read you to fucking filth. Okay. You haven't even on, been on this broadcast for that long, and they already know. They know that exactly. They know what your vibes are like. <laughs> oh fuck, that's fucked up. That's so fucked up, but also funny as hell. Computer science jobs in 2024, auto transport coordinator, Uber driver. <laughs> fuck, I'm sorry for laughing at that chat. That's like half my community. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> every fucking, every other goddamn week, it's just like, <laughs> shit, dude. It's like, it's funny because like, I basically watched it happen. Like we all did in this community where like, when I first started in like around 2019, all the motherfuckers would tell me, he's like, bro, just get a CS job. I'm doing CS work. Like I'm, I got a CS, I got a CS job. Like, it's, it, you know, I'm a comp sci guy. I'm a comp sci guy. And then everybody was like popping off about like telling everyone to do comp sci. And we kept talking about how like, it's you know, they're just trying to make you guys like they're trying to do the learn to code shit so that the market is like saturated mm. and you're basically yeah, nine thumbs down, nine comp side guys, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Do that. Learn to code. Learn to code. And we were like, dude, it's, you're just trying to set. They're saturating the market. They're trying to saturate the market. You don't get it. And now look at this. Sucks. Everybody got fucking fired. Mid college, I switched to cybersecurity and I barely made it in before that went and to shit too. I downvoted out of spite. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I like this. Let one. me see him. <laughs> the starch. <laughs> <laughs> the starch. Extra, extra, extra starch. Double. <laughs> 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 Bro, it's like pleated. <laughs> <laughs> These pants are stand up by this. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Is that she's wearing armor? They want me to drink another whiskey, dude. Don't move. Oh, that's a weird Stay impulse. Ahead. That is a weird impulse, man. Billy starts acting very strange and has this sudden impulse to drink more whiskey. Hey, out of all the times that we've been ghost hunting and stuff, I have never had an impulse. I want to drink that right now. I want another shot of this whiskey right now. But then you're going to be drunk. It's the weirdest thing. Well, like, I want to do it. <laughs> Can I just do it? Well, you might get drunk. No, they're telling me we should do it. Billy. Cheers. That would be your third shot. He's never done this before in a lockdown. That's three? That's three shots of whiskey he just did, bro. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> is that on the actual Discovery Channel? Yeah, why is this on the Discovery Channel? Oh God, the Discovery Channel is turning into this now. I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. Huh. Fucking union guys in full equipment at the gym on lunch break, cuz. Now that's union. You got the fucking Rolex on. Now that's 405 for five, baby. Now that's <laughs> union, cuz. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boys get it down and I get it done. That's why I'm shitting the company time. This is awesome. What the fuck? This is so. <laughs> This is this is so hyper specific to this community. I feel like what the fuck? That's awesome. Stephen Hawking's trying to explain hey, God how he ended fuck? up on Epstein Stink Island. Stink drift. Stink drift. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck happened there? <laughs> you know Stephen Hawking went on Epstein Island? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's It's like 14 times or something. I don't know if he went 14 times. He went a bunch, but he was he was a little freaky. Mm. 
Wait, why are there? What is happening here? What more Stephen Hawking My ones? Is, uh, do you think artificial intelligence will one day take over? And uh, I'm hoping you're not going to give me just a yes or no answer. <laughs> Thank you. What? I I said hell no. Oh. <laughs> uh, 50 Shades of Grey, the movie came out, and people were finding like uh, vibrators left over and cucumbers and stuff. No, no way yeah yeah no this is what i'm dude oh my god that's the late those are the ladies who wash the chick the the chicken yeah. fucking and go i'm yeah. gonna bust the nut to this those are the ladies <laughs> at the fucking thunder dome oh my god i the remember what? you that's literally you literally the thunder left dome? what the thunder down under we went when uh at when we were at switchcon because we went to medieval times and uh -huh. it's held in excalibur right that mm -hmm. hotel but so is thunder down under I worked in a movie theater during that time. It's that true. was not okay, dude. I think like, I I think it's just you know women are so fucking repressed. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> are women okay? No. I found a panties when I was working there. You found a panties. <laughs> that's that's great, man. I found a panties. <laughs> The next time you see yourself as a failure, remember these wise words. <laughs> Nuh-uh. That's... Real. That's sick. I swear to God, if you have a cat, this probably hits so hard. It does. Like, it for me, hard. I'm like, I don't really understand what the fuck's going on yeah, here at all. You're, you're like crazy, Kelly. I know what I was talking about. I know what you do. I love this guy. Because this guy's funny as fuck. He hoops everywhere. Duke Dennis reacts to the history of King Di Shang Dynasty and gets very emotional. Wait. This is also another one of my favorite genre of, of TikToks where they put like Aiden Ross. <laughs> Aiden Ross or like Duke Dennis, sometimes Kai on like random fucking random like history shit. I think I saw one of these with the uh, burning of the Library of Alexandria. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's sick. I can't believe you don't sell slices here. What am I supposed to do with a whole pizza? Everyone must be fat. Why are there so many black people? <laughs> oh, God. Where have they all come from? <laughs> oh, what do you mean I can't smoke in here? That's so accurate. Oh, my God. Finally, one of these that like actually fucking shits on Europeans. Jesus Christ, dude. It's always it's always motherfucking Europeans making fun of Americans for like having so many shitty things like If you ever feel insulted by your community, just remember the W community calls Duke Dennis Dookie. Wait, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this on the food? Seasoning. You mean like white wine? Uh -huh. How much is it to piss in your restaurant? It is also free to piss in this restaurant? Helga's free to piss in this restaurant as well! <laughs> this is not a croissant. <laughs> this is also not a croissant! There is not a single good croissant in all of Toledo, Ohio! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I am begging someone to let me pay to piss. 
<laughs> That's actually, this is so valid. Oh my God. That one was fire. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the wire. There's so many black people on. That's good. Beyonce! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, cats deserve that. Oh, don't cook him. Don't cook him. Don't cook him. Oh, fuck. Don't cook them, don't cook them. Yeah, those are fucking awesome. People get so mad about it though. Like the the lady with the with the rabbit, people are so upset. It's like, what do you how do you think meat is made, man? Like what do you No, like what do you think you're eating? Yeah, people were like but also because she was Asian too. This one has 73 downvotes. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we got hella vegans. What the fuck? 73 downvotes? What's in this one? <laughs> Like Kropotkin, I conquer in manifesto, and I ain't stopping till I spit the entire communist manifesto. This ain't a test, though. Income inequality. That's why it has 73 <laughs> downloads. <laughs> That's like, I think they, like, I think the mods left this one in here just to make a... Maximum oof. No, they left it in here to make an example. To be like, this is bad. Don't do this. <laughs> 73 down votes. You'll notice I was not here over the weekend. I think this is the part that we really need to take personal responsibility for. Saturday, I had a little low grade fever. Uh -oh. <laughs> God, he was so. Dude, he is so funny. Jesus oh, Christ, man. dude. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm a scientist. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, I'm gonna leave this one up just to see how Hassan reacts to it. Oh, they see <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, there you go. I told you they fucking left it on as like a. They left it on as like a. Fuck you. I love these. these uh, the other one I love is like, um, like people that fall into dead drops, like suicide drops. You know, like in voguing. Oh. You know what a suicide drop is? Like when you, f it, it, like the the when gay like dancing back, when you yeah. fall back into your like foot. Oh, oh. A death for, drop. Yeah. A second, I was like, you want? You're just watching suicide. <laughs> no, no, like a death like, drop. Okay, but what I watch is weird. By the okay. way. By the way, no one understood what I was saying at, until I said gay dancing. Okay, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I literally said the right term. I said voguing, death drop, suicide drop. Until I said gay dancing, nobody knew what the fuck I was talking about. So shut the fuck up. Okay? <laughs> Oh shit! Now that Nicki Minaj like is is straight up fucking pro Ben Shapiro, I wonder if I can go to like a Vogue show without uh, having them kill me because all the barbs. Yeah. I have a I have a rivalry. The barbs the hate barbs me. Don't like you. Yeah, and I I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to go to a Vogue show, but like everyone keeps telling me like they'll kill you, Hassan. They'll kill you. Your they bitch might. too bad. Your we too loud. <laughs> you ratio Nicki Minaj, Hassan. You can't go to a Sephora. They'll kill you. But like now, <laughs> now I feel like the barbs are on like one HP because of the <laughs> amount After of one. amount of dick riding for Ben Shapiro they've had to do over the course of the past like <laughs> month. A ball. Yeah, that's it. Isn't yeah. he making like songs or something? Though? Something like that. <laughs> Oh it's so impressive it's so impressive i love that shit i want to go i want to go so bad hit him up to set up an irl stream the editing is so good yeah 
Ball ballroom voguing a death drop a dip. Thank you. On what planet is Sephora not your target audience, regardless of Barb's? No, dude, Barb's run that shit. Like, I'm telling you. Barb's and and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, Barb's can't go around a school. I can't go to a Sephora. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> those are the <laughs> So that's how it works, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that chatter was an undercover barb. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ulta. Ulta is safe. It's full of BTS stands. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece of that. <clears throat> Go piss her. I spent my lunch break going through these. I had to purge like two thirds of these mm-hmm. TikToks. I'm out. Oh, I believe it. Stop. They'll blacklist you again. I'm having a boomer homer. What's a barb? Barbs are Nicki Minaj uh, fans. God save them. Yeah. Yeah, see, Nicki Minaj fans are like in the chat like, no, 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 you can go to a, you can go to a Sephora. I promise we won't kill we you. Are, just tell us which Sephora you're going yeah, to. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I promise we won't kill you, dude. Like, don't worry about it. We only dox you a couple times. Like, <laughs> not a big deal. Come on. <laughs> you snowflakes these days, man. Yeah. They're fighting for their lives right now. You good? Yeah, I know. That's why <laughs> they're more they're more angry. They're more vicious than ever. They're like trapped. They're cornered right now. <laughs> this is when they will bite, okay? It's like the IRA looking for Thatcher. Yeah. Where's the TikToks folder on Discord? I don't have it on mine. Oh, there you go. As a Sephora girly, I'm taking, I'm fine taking the five barbs left. Maybe now that the 10 year olds have taken over <laughs> Sephora, you'll be safe in the barbs. Yeah. The 10 year old community will defend me. Oh shit. Now that the 10 year olds have taken over the Sephora's maybe, maybe the barbs can't be there anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> like a school. Like, like legally speaking. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. That's dope. Okay, what the okay, fuck okay, is okay, that? Say that? It's a moose, isn't it? It's kind of small. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's coming in. <laughs> I'm gonna give it another apple. Oh no. Uh oh. Hello, good morning. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, you guys stay out there. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, man. Like, all of a sudden, I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um. <laughs> so dumb. Sorry. Mm. Why, why are they saying you ate a treat if you ain't eat a treat from? Did you eat? I'ma ask you again. Did you eat a treat from right here? All right. <laughs> That's sick. Sit. Gentle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Is he vaping? 
What the fuck? <laughs> That's like, <laughs> like Fry is not supposed to do that. Like, like what the fuck? I feel like I'm too old for that TikTok. I mean, it was fire. I respect it, but also at the same time, like <laughs> this chatter is too young for Discord. Yeah, whoever posted that is definitely or Brazilian, one or the other. <laughs> Which means like automatically shouldn't be on Discord anyway. <laughs> Talk about good vibrations. These happy little crackers dance around, <laughs> up, over, and down. <laughs> I can't I can't say that That's fucked up They mean like They don't mean like white people They mean Just a snack The Look, saltine I, I, I understand what you're saying But you're not listening to me This is plywood uh, You can't return it after you've cut it It's policy Everyone agrees, don't they? They say Sir, it's the best policy We've received no complaints actually About our policies Absolutely no complaints People come here they buy the plywood, they cut it, and they love it. They say, this is the best plywood we've ever used. It's true, believe me. I've been dealing with plywood my whole life. I know plywood. But it splintered when I cut it. You're telling me I can't Splintered? Just... Impossible. It doesn't splinter. And you're probably doing something wrong. Me? If it was me, it would never splinter. It's never splintered when I've used it, actually. It wouldn't splinter if I wanted it to, and you're trying right. to tell me it's splintered. <laughs> Like, I probably cut this same thing a thousand times, and they all come to me, like they say, apples? Donald, no, how it's real. you cut it so perfect. He works at Home Depot now. <laughs> this is why I maintain the position that, like, the greatest thing that we could do for world peace is, like, put a camera on Trump 24-7, like, just have his own TV channel. We just need to Truman show him. Throw this out. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Like if he, because that's what he wants. He wants motherfuckers. Like he can't go to jail. Okay, we just you know we we don't let him go to jail. <laughs> don't forget the baklava and ice cream. Yeah, you, are you guys ready for the uh, we'll sweet treats the after? Go piss, yeah, after you you go piss. Yeah, we can like even tell him he's still president. You know what I mean? I feel like he liked being on TV more than he liked being president anyway. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You got it. You got it. Keep going, keep going. There we go. What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, how did that happen? There we go. <laughs> what was that? Oh, fall? the airbags popped. Oh. oh my God. Blew his MAGA hat right off, brother. God damn. <laughs> it's all good, brother. What the fuck you mean? I only had a couple. I only had a couple drinks. I <laughs> wanted to give you a quick update. Um, Ty is a big humper. He's overstimulated, um, literally. <laughs> That's funny. A little bit. <laughs> Landlord said he's raising rent. Oh, Jesus. Over. Done. Wagen without telling me your Wagen. I'll go first. When I was growing up, I remember. Ah, uh, yes, another Wagen that knows about the little sunglasses dilemma. Yeah, I don't know if I look as shocking as that guy does, I but. Wagen <laughs> without telling me your Wagen. I'll go first. When I was growing up, I remember. I Ah, uh, yes, another Wajin that knows about the little sunglasses dilemma. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that guy is the final boss. I don't know if I look as shocking as that guy I does, but. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's cool. Look at the cold. That's cool. Yeah, cool. The fuck? Turkey's the most Asian place. I mean, Turks are just Turks are just Asian. That they, they are white and they're Asian, so I guess it's Asian in that sense. But Turks are what happens when you have Asians for like you know five hundred years. <laughs> That's the difference. 
Have you ever done that? What? Like, put furniture polish on the floor to like prank people with? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> because I'm not a cartoon villain. I used to put it. We had like hardwood stairs growing up. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> For you are them. most likely to have like you're most likely to have uh, tortured the class hamster. No, <laughs> but it was really funny because I'd put it on the our hardwood floors and it'd be three a.m. and my dad would always go downstairs and get snacks at night and you'd hear him go, "Ah oh, fuck!" and it's just like, "Dun dun dun dun." <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> there was one time my mom went down the stairs and she fell and then my dad went to go check on her and then he fell. <laughs> You are evil. There's there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you ever put like saran wrap on toilet seats? Yeah, no. <laughs> you did not do that, dear. That shit's funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you ever uh, take an anvil and then like tie a rope around it and then comically drop it on top of someone or like a piano, maybe? <laughs> oh, good times. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, these TikToks are kind of bangers, though. Actually, respect, chat. This is like... At first... When I first started this... I'll be honest, I was a little embarrassed, okay? I was worried. We have female guests here. I thought this was going to be embarrassing. You're going to gonna ruin this. Um, You know, I asked the leftist Discord... To for their funny. favorite funny TikToks. And I thought it was going to be devastating. Turns out... Turns out, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good, as a matter of fact. I'm glad that the moderators of the Discord, of Hoscord, did a, a phenomenal job cleaning up probably like 75% of the jokes that you guys thought were funny. They've been pretty um, solid. Yeah, these, these are all been like, like the lowest one has been like, aside from the one that you guys, <laughs> the, the one that is the perfect version of like what leftists think are funny and interesting and cool to watch. Um... It's been, it's been pretty good. It's like the the worst one is like a seven out of ten. You know what I mean? Overall, very rare, very rare. I'm gonna do this more often. Actually, I like it. All the politics frogs left, so the only the funny people are left. That's not true. Picture of <laughs> picture of Jenna as a child. Yeah, this is it. No. Oh my god! Same hair and everything. It's literally you. That literally is you. <laughs> yeah. Look at the country gal. <laughs> just like you. Oh, now, new Hoscord in the dirt, please? No, Hoscord is fucking funny, dude. Hoscord is better than chat. Actually. Hoscord don't don't let him talk to you that way, guys. No, Hoscord is literally better than chat this time. It's like, I asked chat to send me fucking TikToks impromptu. It sucked ass. Have you motherfuckers sent me Facebook? Posts and shit. It was awful. <laughs> it was so sad. It made me want to kill myself. And when it's like actually more moderated, Hoscord rise up. Bad rap. Bad rap, dude. Hoscord's got a bad rap. Okay, no way this is true, right? Like they said, you stand here and stare at it for 10 seconds, you're going to fall. Like, no way this is true. It kind of looked like. Oh! <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> One guy sent a Vimeo link. True. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. It was like really fucked up. Um, We can't even spell cum. What did you expect? Yeah, that's right. That's what we need. We need like... You know what they said earlier? Cummed? What? <laughs> Cummed in panties? Yeah. I found oh, panties. Yeah. I found a panties. <laughs> At least they didn't send any, like, daily motion videos. Oh, chatters are trying to spell cum. Oh, you guys are so stupid. <laughs> You're getting clapped. Enjoy getting massacred, dummies. Okay? All right. We've done, we've done eight hours. This is enough, I think. We've done it. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? We're going to do the desserts. Let's do it. Let's get to the desserts. Okay. <laughs> Woo. You better fucking appreciate I every know. goddamn... I do. Sweet treat you're gonna put in your fucking mouth, okay? What is this? What is this? Attitude. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hold on. Ah. Go you. 
Okay, first, Baklava. Take it. You can open it. And I'm going to bring the other shit. Open it, female. Yes. <laughs> My e-goddess. <laughs> There's like a bunch of different things. These actually look pretty good. I'm seeing the dessert. I really want it up down there. <laughs> the little, the little <laughs> dog down here. They've been collecting dirt. They got some nice <laughs> seasoning on them. <laughs> some sesame seeds. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Is that funny? No, it wasn't. Stop thinking you are. <laughs> Okay, so that's baklava. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay. Have you, have you had before? Yeah, I've made it before. You've made baklava before? Mm -hmm. How the fuck? What? Okay, that's like. Okay, that's that's swag. That's white girl swag. Respect. I cook. Yeah, I cook a lot. Why are you serving them Turkish desserts? Oh my God! People saying baklava is Greek. No, it's not. Suck me. Okay. 1453, best year of my life, bitch. That's right. Is it called Constantinople? No, it's not. It's not called Constantinople. It's called Istanbul, motherfucker. Baklava is not Greek. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I'll concede that Lahmacun is like, there's an Armenian variant of it. Baklava, on the other hand, not motherfucking Greek. This is sütlaç. Kazan bir sütlaç. So it's, uh... I don't personally like the the roasted part of it, but it is a rice pudding. Mm. Here you go. You can try it out. Um, I'm gonna hold one of these for you. You want it? You want a spoon? Is there more spoons over there? You need another one? We got so reduce, many fucking. Reduce, recycle. Yeah. Oh. Half the stuff you had today was Greek. Shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. What? Speak into the microphone. <clears throat> I like it. Oh. That's good as fuck. Okay. That's a good ass version of this. They have rice pudding in America too, right? Okay. Well, that's one. What would you rank it at? I can give... I think like a B. It's a little too sweet for my taste, but... If it was a little less sweet, I think I'd like it a little I think bit. if it was just like... A few spoons less sugar, it'd be like A. I mean, it's it's to too sugary? Price. It's too sweet? It is a little sweet. That one. Okay. But the texture is good, or I like it. Mm -hmm. I like I like rice pudding. Okay. Yeah, I give it like a B. This one, I think, I, I gotta look it up. I don't know what this is. Hold on. I think it might be Turkish, but I don't know if it is. <laughs> I hope it is, because it's like a very unique Turkish dessert. But I think this is Kazandibi, actually. Yeah, you're right. Um, it might be Kazandibi. Here you go. This is Kazandibi. Dig in. It's Fırın Sütlaç, not Kazandibi Sütlaç. Sorry, Kazandibi is different. So that one is Kazandibi. So what is this? Um, it's a Turkish dessert, uh, a type of caramelized milk pudding. Ooh. Developed in the kitchens of the Ottoman... Interesting. Ottoman Palace. Is one mm. of the most popular... I like that. Okay. Do you know what it is? Wait, let me see if it's the one that I think it is. So, Kazandibi. Do you like it? I like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. This is sick. Hold on. I think it's if it's the if it's a real OG one, you guys are going to freak out. Why? Oh, it is. Okay. Guys. This is made. This is Togosu. Okay. It's made with chicken breast. Yes. Like how? I don't even fucking know how it's made, but this is a very special Turkish mm. delicacy. Um, 
It is made with chicken breast. I don't know how the fuck the consistency gets to this, but it's very sweet. For the record, no for those of you who don't know, this is a very sweet dessert. Like you would never know that there's chicken in it. Yeah, the texture's uh, and it's more balanced than that one. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how. Can you look it up? Here, this is it. It's a Turkish milk pudding made with shredded chicken breast. It was a delicacy served to the Ottoman sultans in the Topkapi Palace, and is now a well-known dish in Turkey. Chicken pudding. It has long been believed that this chicken pudding had originated in the Roman recipe collection Apicius. 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 And it was later passed on to the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantium, and subsequently the Ottoman Empire. However, no surviving copies of Apicius include such a recipe. Similar Arab dishes from the 10th century exist. Considering the lack of evidence for the Roman connection, it's possible the tohukkosu in the Turkish cuisine is likely of Arab origin. Apicius. That's so cool. What are they going to talk about? No, of course. It's not as... This is, I think, surprising that they sell this in America, um, considering that it is literally made out of chicken breast. The traditional version uses white chicken breast meat. The meat is softened by boiling and separating the meat into very fine uh, fibers or pounding until smooth. And then the meat is mixed with milk, sugar, cracked rice, and other thickeners, and often some sort of flavoring such as cinnamon. The result is a thick pudding, often shaped for presentation. It's yeah. a very interesting flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's, it is interesting, especially because like, like I said, you would never think it and it has no like remnants of chicken in it at all. Yeah. The chicken part doesn't even bother me. I wonder how it gets to that consistency. If it's but a cartilage it's very thing. Good. Yeah. Does it taste strongly like chicken? No. Mm -mm. You, you probably don't even believe, like if I didn't explain this to you, you would not believe that there's chicken in this. First, I thought you were gonna be like, "Oh, it's like hooves or something." And no, because that's technically what uh, gelatin is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's get to the baklava before we get to the marashto nermasa, which is it's uh, incredible. So baklava, I don't know if this is gonna be a good one. Tur in America, it's very hit or miss. This doesn't look very good. This looks like very dry. Yeah, I was gonna say. You see that? Mm. Normally. Normally, this is supposed to be glistening with a uh, sherbet or syrup, mm. and it's not. And this is look. This looks very, very dry too. So I think this is not going to be a good. This is not going to be a good baklava at all. But I would recommend this one maybe. Here, this one over there that looks kind of good. Mm -hmm. Here, try that one. Back there. Yeah, I've had them with like honey and like rose water. And... But, oh, so yeah. if you've had, yeah, if you've had like real baklava, then you know what it's like. It's probably not a very good version of it. I couldn't get it from the place that I actually get it from normally, um, but still pretty good. In America, they it is dry. Yeah. Um. This one must be a Greek version of it. Or an Armenian one. <laughs> but it is, a, really it is a dry one. <laughs> That's why I bought that piece of chicken earlier. <laughs> How do you close this? I'm just gonna leave it over here. Okay. So. This. Is Marash Dondurmasa. I'm gonna taste it first to see if it's actually real Marash Dondurmasa. But from the consistency of it, it looks like it is. Eh. I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a decent version of it, but. See, I'll show it the chat. See how uh, when I pull it, you can kind of see it comes apart like that? Uh, before coming apart, it's like sticky. This is the type of Turkish ice cream that you see. Very famously online, um, with like, like the flippy thing with or? the flippy thing, yeah, it's very sticky because it has a, I think it has mastic gum in it. Huh. It's close. Here, try it. I think it might be with goat milk though. This, I think is this one is made with goat milk. I love goat milk. Um, so you can you can taste the the goat milk, which I don't think it's supposed to be made with that. 
I think it's of course um it should be gold medal. No, I think Marash no is a normal Kahraman Marash. It's not always with goat milk. <laughs> Can I have some of that chicken stuff? <laughs> Do you like that? I, uh, I like it's this. Interesting. So, I think that yeah, these are the the Turkish ice cream guys that that uh, fuck around with everybody and say like you can't have this. Like they they do the fake thing yeah. or they like pull it back and stuff. They're only able to do it because it has um it has that like gum in it, like literal gum in it. Um it's very good though, and you're actually supposed to in in uh, Mado is the name of the restaurant that like specializes in um Maraş Dondurması. Mm -hmm. Mado is short for Maraş Dondurması. It's a franchise in Turkey. And they usually have um, baklava. And then often they will give you with a side of like dondurma. So you eat it. You eat the baklava with a side of like uh, ice cream. So that's it. Um, and that it, that's it. That that concludes our... We gotta finish rating them. Um, that concludes our, our... Hold on. Yeah. That concludes our... our I guess dessert portion. They have mado in Canada. Wait, no way, really? Maraş has salip in it as thickener. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna bring Kaya inside real quick. Kaya, enjoying that chicken. Kaya, yeah. Like the top's kind of toasted too. Mm -hmm. It just like pistachio on top. Yeah, yeah, but you see like under. Oh yeah. That one gets like an S just for like, I've never had anything like it before. It's so unique. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like anything I've ever had before. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've had something of similar consistency. I'm sure I've had things that are close, but. Good. Mm. Okay, so what do you, what do you rate everything? Hmm, dessert wise. Yeah. Did we finish rating all the food? Um, not all of it because I wasn't able to put it in time. Mm -mm. But I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get so banned for this. But Turkish cuisine is all stolen from the Middle East except for Donar. And Germans have more unique cuisine. What? Yeah, the last part is like the grossest and, and most false thing you could have ever said. <laughs> I keep eating your fucking bratwurst and your schnitzel, <laughs> weirdo. Don't they have laws in Germany too that you can't have, you can't like salt your food past a certain extent or... Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I went to Gamescom a few years ago. Even schnitzel's not German. It's like fucking, it, schnitzel's Austri Austrian, right? Yeah, this guy's like, wow, we've invented eight different types of sausage. It's the best, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Germans invented one thing, and that is the grossest fucking... Um, uh, the, the grossest fucking children's stories of all time, okay? Germans invented Nazism and the scariest children's stories that you're not supposed to fucking read to anybody. Hmm. Anyway, here's what a baklava normally looks like. Evidence of they know the what Turks it like. bringing they baklava it. to Anatolia. How come it is that the Greeks have laid claim to it all? They have it. Now, Professor Spiros Veronis talked about the Byzantine dessert cupcake and equates it to baklava. But there's some crucial differences going on here that were found out by American journalist Charles Perry. Fuck. I'm so livid? What? Why? <laughs> what? I'm so angry? <laughs> Why? Why are you angry? You drunk? <laughs> What's happening? Somebody thinks I'm gay for pay because of a tweet that said I wasn't gay with you? 
What? Why are you mad that you're gay for pay? <laughs> and I'm actually gay. Yeah. Are you mad because you're outed as a fucking being a breeder, bitch? A breeder and feeder. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's actually a great way to, like, That's talk right. about a date. That's right, chat. <laughs> it's time for the truth. It's time for the truth to be revealed. Austin is gay for pay. He's actually a breeder. IRL. What tweet is he referring to? Dude, he's, he's not. He just, like, sits around because he's so... <laughs> because he's so fucking jobless, okay? Baby needs attention. Because he's so goddamn jobless, he sits around all day... And looks for comments that he's gonna he's gonna get like really mad about, mm. okay? And he'll find it. Persian Wolf one hundred mentioned you in a comment, bro. You literally tweeted saying you and some guy named Hassan are not gay. Wanted to clear that up. Wait, is that the actual guy? Yeah. Listen, every group of girls has one unemployed bitch who's <laughs> fucking constantly sitting around reading tweets, okay, and doing <laughs> nothing else. Austin is our guy, okay. That's our guy. You want some more chicken? I'm good. <laughs> you fucking house that chicken. That's awesome. I'm stoked. This is good. Oh, he's an OnlyFans reader. Yeah. Charging his phone. <laughs> charging his fucking phone. Reading all the tweets. Okay. Getting mad. Getting angry. He looks for hate comments. You, But you stream it the whole time. It's true. Oh my fucking god, I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Ban cinnamon and baklava, please? Yeah, it, uh, that's actually what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to talk. See why Fact Checker say this is partly false? Yeah, they say it's partly false because he's straight. And someone should post that on Twitter and see if you can get community notes on it. <laughs> like, this is in fact... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, my point is who's calling? What? Oh my god, he is calling. Yo. What's up? Brother. I didn't I wasn't look first of all, I worked very hard. I'm working I'm currently developing my in the tub show, which is debuting this month. Okay. Uh-huh. Second of all, um, I was fucking, so I was, I was just laying in bed on my phone, plugged yeah, in. fucking a woman, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, After be honest. After she paid you? Yeah. Yeah, Wait, stop. So, you were well, fucking a woman. Okay, go on. In the tub. <laughs> I was not having sex with a woman. You're laughing. Okay. You see that? <laughs> Typical breeder, okay. dude. Disgusting. Okay, right. So, I'm, I'm sitting there, so I did this interview with this, um, with this guy named Art. He's like a, a fellow, um... It's like a OnlyFans creator, and he wanted to do like man on the street interview with a me. fellow, a fellow OnlyFans creator. Well, I'm, look, I, I, look, hold on, no, no, no I, I don't have an OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. But um, look, so he interviews me, and he the, the the video is how long should a top last, right? And I I say twenty minutes, whatever, yeah, that's irrelevant. And then he DM, he he texts me today, and he sends me a screenshot of this comment. Alleging that I'm gay for pay. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where did this guy see this, right? And then Art <laughs> evidently DMs him, right? And the guy pulls a tweet from when I took... Because I, I was going through this phase where I kept, like, saying, you and I aren't gay. And it, like, because, like, nobody thought that. But I kept tweeting it because I thought it was funny. And he fucking shows him the tweet. And he's like, yo, bro, do your research before you, before you figure it out. He admitted that he's gay for pay. So he took that tweet and thinks that I'm gay for pay. First of all, I don't even, what am I gay for pay for? Because I don't do porn. Um, but he thinks that I'm gay for pay because of that fucking joke tweet. Which... I love that. I love that you have like, like this guy's doing gay research on you. Like he's doing gay <laughs> opposition know. research. What's, what, what, this is oh, damn. Oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> We're looking at the guy's TikTok right now. God yeah. damn. Why is he weird like that? It's he's so... a fucking huge, he's a fucking huge, um, like, OnlyFans oh creator, God. and that's what irks me, is like, dude, 
I, I, how do I explain to him the lore between me alleging like people thinking that we're dating, but like nobody believes it, but me thinking I have to defend something that like, how do you explain that to somebody that he doesn't live in our wolf. state? He said he'd rather be a wolf than a sheep all his life. You know what I mean? Persian Wait, daddy what? XXL. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, do I need to like bottom for him in order for him to believe me? Like, like what the fuck? Is, what the fuck is? What the fuck do I have to do? Hassan you know? and I are not in a gay, are not gay, or in a gay relationship with each other. <laughs> I just thought I would clear up the common misconception. Wait, this had fifty six thousand likes, Austin. <laughs> yeah, and so he thinks he thinks that that was me admitting that I'm not gay or something. Bro, that's, that's awesome. A, you deserve it. That's such a banger yeah. tweet. What the fuck? Honestly, honestly, this is the best payback for like dragging you through that, like the fake. Uh, but you did it because no one thought, thought I was gay. gay. <laughs> you just kept making it on your own. It's just like <laughs> the the funniest part about it is like there's plenty of people that that think I'm gay, right? Of course. Yeah. But yeah. like none of those people thought I was gay because of the. The, the way you kept saying, like, oh, me and Hassan are in a gay relationship. Everybody just thought I was gay because my name is Hassan Abi, and they thought it means Hassan Abai. And because I, like, <laughs> preach woke shit, so I must be sucking cock on the side. You know what I mean? Dude, so, dude I, I, I cannot fucking believe it. And, like, I don't... He's fully convinced that I'm gay for pain. He's fully convinced. Now... I would be, I would be like, you can pay me a lot of money to have sex with a woman. Like, I'd probably. Bro, I'd be, maybe, I'd maybe he has it. like, wait, maybe he has a Turkish military style. He doesn't think it, you're gay because you top. Oh, shit. Maybe that's right. <laughs> also, he probably looked at, dude, he probably looked at Wikipedia and saw that you're heteroflexible on Wikipedia. Oh, my God. No, please, by the way, please, whoever, please change it back. If you Austin fucking show Wikipedia, flexible. let's take a look. No, God, let's no. See what it says here. Um, it says here that you are Lebanese of Irish descent. Lebanese of Irish descent. A big lie there, <laughs> right off the bat. Not a lie. I'm, <laughs> I'm Lebanese. Okay, drop the Raj persona with Khalifa. Okay, come on. Now. We can skip over that part. It was a long time ago, right? Different mm -hmm, time. Different mm -hmm. time. Right. Austin is openly gay. He came out via. Twitter in 2020 saying my sexuality isn't a meme. I identify as what I would say mostly gay, but maybe yeah, bisexual I because sometimes I find women more attractive. Go I, I don't look. It, it was a stepping stone. Yeah, okay? exactly. I, I mean, it was a stepping stone to you coming out as a straight man. Fucking no. got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. Chat, <laughs> fix the, the Wikipedia case. right now. What do you mean he has a tweet well, out okay, there? Okay, hold, hold on. I gotta. How many? <laughs> without. I, I keep likes? my life very personal, but look, but hold How, on, I keep my life wait, very can personal. I, can I just say something? Wait, hold on a second. How many likes does your tweet coming out have? Uh, I, I think like 46,000. Exactly, bitch. You're fucking straight now. You better be fucking pussy right now. Uh, hang up no, the call I, I don't, and, and go eat some pussy, dog. That's you know, right. Okay, guys, look. 56,000 56, likes saying you're not gay? 46,000 no, okay, likes saying you're gay. This is so funny. This is so funny to me because, like, obviously, without divulging too much about my personal life, Hassan has literally met Twinks in his house with me. Okay, like that. I'm like I'm currently. Seeing. Don't pull me into this. You know? Don't pull me into this. What? He's trying to hide it. He's trying I'm not to hide it. it. I've literally, I've literally during our podcast, there's been like somebody waiting outside afterwards. Like, what the yeah, fuck? a woman. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! We got him! Fucking got oh, him! Oh, God. Yeah, dude. You. Oh, oh my God. Fuck. Bro, he has a reverse beard. This is what happened with woke culture, okay? Everybody's uh, like, oh, wow, I'm white. Like, I gotta have some. So, oh, I'm gay now. Austin is lying about being gay as a personality <laughs> thing. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, God. Hassan, this is so toxic. He's gonna believe it. People are gonna believe it. <laughs> Persian XXL, listen, King, don't fall for this straight breeder's disgusting oh lies. God. Oh my God, Hassan, stop. <laughs> I, I swear. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Yeah. He's no, actually, it's like, the thing is, is Hassan, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Yeah, well, guess what, dude? Uh, I think he oh. gets it, okay? I think no. he gets it. I think he gets it pretty oh hard, God. actually. Okay. Oh my God. 
Yeah, being gay uh, is not a choice, Austin. What the fuck are you doing? Running oh around, God. acting like okay, you're a gay I'm, man. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. This may be the worst thing you've ever done. Although, Dude, you know what's <laughs> funny? Yeah, if you don't have gay, what do you have? You're so cooked. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is so this is so toxic i i expect to call you to have a good laugh and then you fucking fucking uh double down yeah on the, yeah that's on you the, know why i'm the only down the, because your ass thinks i could not out you okay on a competition if i took a pill that made me gay i would be clapping nah. Butt cheeks no. way harder. No, 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 you no. have no, no fucking no. clue. You're like, no, oh, no, no, you no. throw your back no, out. No, no. Yeah, I that's what you, you wish. You. That's what you I wish would you. happen. I would fuck. I would out fuck you under the table. You wouldn't even. You wouldn't have even woken up. No, I no, wake no. up before you do. Okay. By this the time we got to Starbucks, I'd be on my fifth no, no. pussy. No, no, no. You, you would. You would. uh you oh. would, uh, you, you would, you would, you would, you, you would, like I said, you exceed the weight limits the most weight. Wait, hold okay? on, hold on. That's not true. Uh, it and also, no, there's, listen, dude, Twinks, uh, Twinks uh, can take on a lot. Okay. They're, they're load bearing. That's number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. Number two. <laughs> yeah. Here's okay. a, I, I have a second. I have a second key piece of evidence. Your honor. Okay. Judge okay. Judy. The adjudicator of homosexuality. Okay. Okay. Let's What's go that? to let's go to Austin Show's Instagram. Oh no! You're gonna fucking pull up the picture of me and me and Malkova. Oh, you already know. <laughs> seems to God me. It. Seems to me like uh, here is Exhibit Seventeen A. Oh, oh wow. what's that about? Wow. Oh, doesn't seem gay to me at all, as a matter of fact. Oh, God. You know what? You know what? What I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to you're gonna you're trying to make me gayer. It's been it's been a part you of the... are hanging out with famous oh wait, oh exhibit 17B. Oh, no. Not one but two. Famous porn stars, I'm female right, look, porn stars. Not it. only are you a breeder, a straight mm. man, mm. but you are constantly hanging out with female porn stars as well. Uh, you know what? I can't help it. There's just so much pussy that I love, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, can't, okay. I can't lie. I yeah, can't if lie. You I that, if you did that, everyone would understand you're gay. <laughs> that was the gay. Yeah, so. look. I love to eat it. I love to flick it. I love to do everything to it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I love to go to the, I love to go to the strip club and see titties and, and, uh, yeah, I love, love, love it. Yeah, this. I'm gonna be honest with you. This outfit that we bought for you is your saving grace. You should just send this back to him. Wait, Wait you the one Persian Wait, bear the, the XXL from. Yeah, just send this back and be like, what the fuck are you talking about, dumbass? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but like, the guy, I don't, I, I just can't, but I get it though, I get it. If you're from outside the community and, and you don't know, what's crazy is, why would somebody that's gay for pay tweet that with 50,000 likes and then just continue gay baiting? I don't know. You know what I mean? Is that like a big problem? Is that like a thing that uh, the gay dudes hate or something? Is that, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So like in the in the gay, specifically the gay porn community, there's like a lot of resentment, rightfully so, against against men that like queer men, basically. And oh. and 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 being pretty heteronormative looking, and this guy probably he he you know I didn't fit the check all the boxes. Uh, or his personal boxes, he decided to go to my Twitter to do an investigation. Bussy Angel, Bussy Angel, who is uh, our our uh, bottom correspondent, says yes. There's an overinflation of straight baiters, only fans, models. Yes, and so first of all, I'm not even a, so he. So first of all, this guy's saying that like I'm gay for pay, and and then like first of all, like to be gay for pay, you got to be fucking like what am I gay for pay? For name your price, like what the fuck? Like I'm a gay for pay podcast host. 
<laughs> like I, I don't know what what, what that means. Uh, and then a lot of, uh, you do you do sure make a lot of jokes about being gay, dude. I feel that's like that's true. like ninety percent of your jokes. If you were that's if you true. were outed as a straight man, which I know you are, right? Oh yeah. If you were outed as a straight man, that's like ninety five percent of your jokes are gone. What are you gonna? Now yeah. you're just a sassy straight well, guy. Nobody hey, fucking not, cares about that. I got news for you. If I'm out as out as a straight man, ninety five percent of your jokes are gone too. Wait, why? Because that's all. That's half your fucking. That that's your catalog is making fun of me for being a homosexual. Yeah, no, that's still fine. I can still call you gay while you're a straight no, guy. No, 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 you can't. It's not as funny. It's not as <laughs> no, funny. No, no, I'm homophobic. If, that's why it's okay. Like, <laughs> Don't worry, I can still do it. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that's not the case. It doesn't work, it Wait, doesn't work as well. No, no, it doesn't work well. What the fuck? Bro, April 1st, 2020, I'm straight, folks. No, it's, it's April Fool's, oh all right? Oh my it's god, April dude. Fool. Oh, it's you've been fooling fool. everybody. Calling it's yourself April gay fool. this whole time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's April Fools, okay? You can't help it. You keep coming out as straight. <laughs> Look, you know what? I'm gonna start fucking. I'm gonna start a. a por I'm gonna start a porn career. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start a <laughs> porn career, and I'm just like my entire life is going to be dedicated to proving that I'm gay. Okay, well, you know that, that is, there's a term. What? There's a term for that. Yeah, straight guys what? who are gay. No. <laughs> Oh my god, like what fucking straight guy hangs out at the Abbey? Like what the fuck? What do you mean? Will and I used to go to the Abbey before you even knew you were gay, son. What are you talking yeah, about? You're, uh, uh, maybe you are gay. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. And I'm ta I'm revoking your gay card. You can't say that no. word anymore. Fuck. Oh shit. Well, all right. <laughs> god. I just got, I guess I got owned. I guess I'm a straight guy who likes pussy. What the I fuck is this? Them. This pussy is tight? <laughs> Wait, what dude. the fuck? Dude. <laughs> dude. Is that a hotspot message? You, yo, dude, you're outing yourself oh, in hotspot. You're outing yourself everywhere. <laughs> Don't try to say a it's plane? a plane pussy. Uh, Don't even try to act like you're talking about planes. You were drunk. <laughs> you were drunk trying to write pussy, but you slurred it. No, it's plain pussy. No, oh yeah, I like to fuck planes. I'm not gay. No, I'm gay. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I, I, I can't. I, I don't know. But low key, this guy's fucking dick is huge. <laughs> fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on. Have I'm you on seen my way to Florida. Head? Exhibit 19C, Your Honor. I'm on my way to Florida, so naturally I'm wearing my cross like a good straight Christian boy. Oh yeah, and I love women. <laughs> Okay, 17,000 likes. Obviously, there's a point. Oh, dude. I <laughs> I, I can't yeah. believe you I, I made me let okay, me Okay, there's another crop. one. There's another one. I'm straight. <laughs> I've been secretly saying no homo all these years. <laughs> oh, Heaven's my God. Okay, it's obviously. Okay, maybe I've been joking about it a little too much. <laughs> right? another one. It says, you just said boobies. <laughs> that's the sh that's classic straight guy shit. You're like, oh, I'm so horny. Oh man, I yeah, I just type uh, boobies in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I've been you, caught, man. I've been I think caught. you I didn't... tweeted. You've tweeted about being straight more than I have. Oh fuck. Well, <laughs> you know what? That you know that means you know. Well, uh, <laughs> sorry, ladies. Um, Hassan's gay, and. Uh, I'm straight, so there you go. I hope they send this guy all these screenshots. Oh, I dude, really yeah. hope so. <laughs> I hope he like legitimately thinks. Uh, Bussy Angel says, "Tell Austin I'll text Persian Wolf for him, but not to defend him." <laughs> oh my God, Bussy Angel's got your number, son. You're so cooked. I am straight. Oh I like God. to slam puss. March 13th, 2022. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, bro, can you say bro. the f word? Like, does is that allowed now? What the fuck? Wait, the F slur? Yeah, now I'm I'm like conflicted now. Like all the times where I've like laughed along, turns out it was like a, a pure homophobic straight guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You're having way too much fun. Today. I am. This is this is a new meta. It's so sick. No, this is not a new this is not a new meta. This is not a new meta. <laughs> Dude, you have tweeted so much about being straight. <laughs> Oh, it's like alarming. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny that this guy thinks it's because you look the the funniest part is because you look so like like a straight guy. <laughs> You really do, especially if he saw like older photos of you, he would be like, oh, this guy's lying. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to, I mean, like, like you said, the only saving grace is the fucking photo with cutie. <laughs> yeah, if we, yeah, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, honestly. Thank you. Exhibit well, 18. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, you've tweeted about being straight so much. Scott, yeah, I'm it's straight. A, it's Let's not forget. Dude, it's I'm currently having dating. sex with at Emma Langevin. Okay, it, yeah, obvious. She's a lesbian. Or no, she's not a lesbian. She's she's um asexual. Fuck. I, I don't know. I, she, uh, <laughs> I don't know what her sexuality is. Uh, Yo, uh, dude, what the hell? What the hell, dude? You think okay, you fine, know? Fine, you caught me. You caught me. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I've been, I had sex with Emma Langevin. Okay, you caught me. Right? <laughs> you, you literally, bro. You are just, you're just straight. You're just straight as a fucking doorknob, dude. You're I know. straight as hell. I know. I can't help it. With I can't place. believe I got away with it for that long. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a twit longer. <laughs> yeah. Austin has been gay baiting for this entire time. I'm really sorry. I wanted to apologize to the fans of the Fear End podcast community. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So oh my funny. God. Anti Piper's oh, gone black. Why the hell am I in MILF City? <laughs> what the fuck? You were in MILF City? That's crazy, dog. Anti Piper went black. He went, he went dark. This yeah, is he went dark. Day. This is a sad day for him. Yeah, anti Piker, anti Piker went dark. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, wow. Christ and effect in full in full uh, right you live here. You know? Yeah, you did that. Yeah, New the Christ and pick. effect. It wouldn't be so in effect if fucking Hassan wasn't Barbara Streisand herself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. wouldn't be an issue. If my best friend didn't fucking start to peddle the fucking conspiracy. <laughs> Damn, bro. Nice body, no homo. And I'm straight. Go women and boobs. <laughs> See? I mean, wow. there, there it is right there. All the evidence you need. Yeah, you know? this is this is pretty crazy. We need to compile those. Austin calls yeah. himself a straight baiter. I think I'm a straight baiter. He's just straight. Mm. He's just hiding it. Yeah, that's me. I can't help that God made me straight, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> They'd be so cute. I wish Austin was gay. <laughs> dude, dude, okay, now there is so much. Okay, now now I'm beginning to feel like, yeah, no shit, this guy thought you were faking it. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, look, but see, the thing is, is the thought within our community, nobody ever fucking batted an eye at that. <laughs> Yeah, you no know? shit, because it's funny as fuck. Also, who cares that this one random guy thinks you're faking it, Austin? The whole point is, <laughs> I hope you don't, like, turn around and actually get like, upset about this and start, like, posting gay as fuck shit. Like, no, just... I mean, I'm, I'm a, you are the, you're the reason why I slip into gay porn. That's what that's what happened. I'm going to slip oh, into Oh, yeah, you just <laughs> slipped and fell into gay porn. You really, <laughs> yeah, you really didn't yeah. want to do it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like publicizing more of my private life so people, you know, can see, you know, who I'm dating, you know, what who I'm seeing at the time, you know, just so people know, you know. So Austin telling Prezo he was straight. What, Wait, what? the fuck? You, you said I was gay way before you. Look at these. Okay, you went. I was straight for years. There's another yeah. one. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, anyway, whatever. Fuck it. You're right. Wait, You're right. This is another this is actually a banger. Growing up, I was totally Wait, Meow, you responded. <laughs> Growing up, <laughs> I was totally straight, but then I saw a pride flag at a target and was immediately gay. This could happen to you guys. That was a banger tweet. That was during the whole fucking target. No, I know. That's a fire tweet. That's a good tweet. Yeah. Anyway. Um Yeah. So 
Well, okay. Well, you know what? Cat's out of the bag, you know? <laughs> Here I am, ladies. I'm so happy that I was put in the S tier. So happy. I think I'm straight. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. You know what? There's a lot of straight tweets. Okay. They, they got a lot of traction. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> He's okay. gonna if I if I were to DM him, he would keep sending me all these tweets, all these exhibits. Yeah, no, you're cooked. Like this guy, I don't so, think you can. I don't think you can win him over. You could, you could literally fuck this guy, and he still would be like, "Nah, you son of a bitch, <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch." <laughs> yeah, I th this is gonna end in gay sex for sure. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, uh, Austin back on for your end tomorrow. We need him back. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm back, and and this F, this will probably be discussed. This will definitely be discussed. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna and you can't come on. Take a different spin on it. No, right? no, 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 dude. We're we're spinning it. <laughs> the only person spinning here is you. You're trying to fucking do the spin zone over here. Trying to act like you're. No, gay. All right, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll discuss it on we'll discuss it on fear end. And I'm gonna wear the gayest fucking outfit I've ever worn. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bring I'm actually packing it right now. I'm I'm packing my gay outfit. Good luck. All right. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be hold on, let's see. I'm packing it right now. I'm wearing <laughs> That's not, I know you're gonna open the podcast like that too, talking about how if you may notice Austin is compensating for something today. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you're gonna oh, rip yeah. into it. So Absolutely. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear. You know, I'm gonna show up to the podcast in a jock strap. Okay. Yeah. That's well. what I'm. All right. <sighs> Nothing's gonna save you now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, thank you, Austin, for coming on. We I had uh, two wonderful guests here, uh, and uh, you know we. Hello, lovely guests, ladies, denims. <laughs> Typical nice. straight guy just doesn't even care that there's there's women. Like he's just like, oh, it's me, 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 me. See, if he was gay, yeah. he would have, like, respected mm -hmm. uh, you guys. It's true. <laughs> it's yeah. true. Bye, right, guys. See ya. Bye, Austin. All right, bye, bye Austin. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Finally, this okay. straight guy's gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just us ladies now. Thank God. <laughs> um. All right, well... That was that was a fun experience overall. I shouldn't I shouldn't even like delete these. I'm gonna keep oh. these tabs open because I'm gonna use it against Austin uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so okay. We have to edit the Wikipedia so it says he's. Straight. Oh, they do it all the time. Yeah, that's why and, I yeah. thought. And then cite with each citation. That's why I thought. Seven citations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I literally thought that they would have, uh, you know, uh, they would have done it. That's why when I clicked guy. on it. Like back in the day, I think it used to say that he's straight too. Like so, um, this is so funny. I love that he like got so mad about this. Um, anyway, all right, everybody. Denim, thank you so much for coming on, Janelle Maori. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on as well. <laughs> um, this is wonderful. We we experienced some Turkish cuisine. Yeah, thank you for um we looked food at, and all that. We looked at alpha dogs, big dogs, which was fire. Uh, Austin came out of straight again and uh, yeah that'll be all for today folks uh, after the podcast tomorrow I may go live I'm gonna probably go live but we'll see and uh, yeah that's it that's all I got for you on this wonderful Saturday it was a fun day Hoscord on top don't forget Hoscord rise up rise up Hoscord you guys did it you guys did it take a bow bye everybody Shadows trickling in, has so people hate.